It is the Mike Calt. The show is 1025 The Bone. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, February 27th, 2024, and we are coming to you live. How's everybody doing today? Good. Good, good, good. I don't know what I'm doing lately that is is great. I have a new a new thing before I go to bed. I watch one episode of Seinfeld, and then I go to sleep. Mm-hmm. And uh, whether that's at 8.30 or 10.30, whatever time it is, I watch one episode of Seinfeld, and then I go to sleep, and I wake up feeling like I slept for a million years. I feel great. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I turn over and go right back to bed right now, but I feel great. I was rocking out listening to uh, 94.1 on the way in this morning. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good stuff. yeah. Good. How was it? Good stuff. Carmen turned me on to it. That's hey. cool. Easy <laughs> listening. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, how long they have dead air, Carmen? Ooh, I mean, it was all the way from when I left my house at, I mean, six or five ten to when I got to work, which was like five forty. And you listened the whole time? No, I did not. Oh, at you first, check back every yeah. Morning. At first, I was like, it was like first the first five minutes, and then I like realized I was like, why is the radio not on? <laughs> and then I looked over and I went to like turn it up. I thought my volume was just off. And then I realized my volume was up. It was just dead air. Yeah. Cool. And then I listened to a few more minutes. And I was like, okay, I need music to wake up. But then, of course, every other song I would check back in. Also, and- also, ninety four one. What's up, soccer mom? Who me? Yeah. That's not ninety four one. Oh yeah. I'm uh, a bitch. I'm a lover. I'm <laughs> an old lady driving. You're thinking of magic. Thank you very much. Ah, that's bird. soccer mom. Oh, 94 that's one. Oh, that's wild. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Orlando. I wouldn't even brought that up. I didn't. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow. Wow. Oh, I didn't, I didn't oh. think about What's that. What's up, soccer mom? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, listen, more What's so- up, Boomer? More soccer, know the stations. more soccer moms listen to wild than they are <laughs> magic anyway. So. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. In oh, your Orlando. face, Orlando. Yeah, suck it, Orlando. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So. That's weird because he's usually when I worked at the station, Orlando and I would meet on the bridge and race across the bridge. I'd be driving my 2004 Hummer and he'd be in some crazy Mercedes <laughs> or BMW, and we'd be oh, I'd have to go extra fast to try and just catch up to him. But we'd get there, man. We'd get those speeds up going over there because nobody else was on the bridge except for he and I, and uh, we'd whip over on the other side. I'm surprised that he was not losing his mind listening to that. <laughs> I'm Two sure local he... radio DJs died today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and ironic crash into each other. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was going to say, that's just when I got in the car at 510. Who knows how long it was on oh, like, yeah. before that. It was obviously like the overnight board op Oof. or something. You know I what I mean? Never, I can never turn it off when there's dead air yeah. on a oh, station. No. I, have to. I have to. It no makes way. me so cringe. I got to see like, how it plays out. I can't. I think I talked about this, but uh, I went to a, when I was very early on in radio, I went to the um, Billboard radio conference in new york and there was a panel of all these legendary djs and i say legendary it was like i used to listen to when i was a kid and some of them i didn't know they were from across the country but they were all very famous guys and magic matt allen was up there and he had that i'm magic matt allen voice and he had like the kind of 90s 80s mullet you know and it was kind of cool and you could just tell he always got hot chicks and he worked in big markets and stuff and they were all telling Scott Shannon stories. And Scott Shannon was like their program director at some point, all of them. And Magic Man Allen was like, when I worked for WPLJ, I had everything perfect. Scott Shannon's like, don't you ruin my radio station. You know, this thing, you know, I'd say all these things. And he goes, and then um, uh, during a song, I had a tenth of a second of dead air. I just hit the button wrong, and it didn't go. And he goes, immediately the hotline rang and I answered the phone he said why are you ruining my radio station why do I hear dead air on my station and he said it was like a, a half a second of dead air and and I couldn't believe that he was actually listening to it and he said people are tuning out already and I went no one tunes out when you hear dead air you always go oh, what's going on you make it louder <laughs> yeah. and you listen longer yeah, and I'm not just because we're in radio but when I was a kid and you in my mind oh somebody just broke into the uh into the radio station they're holding them hostage let's hear what happens oh no oh, just a Michael Jackson song <laughs> yesterday I went to um I went to Starbucks after I took a shower after the show, and then I got in, and I was taking my time running my errands. I get to Starbucks, and my wife texts me, and she's like, Juliana's school's on lockdown. And I went, why? And she goes, I don't know, something that happened in the high school. That, that trash high school across the street's always got something going on over there. So I said, do you need me to go to the rescue? And she goes, you should probably not. And I went, I'm in the, mm. I'm in the area. I'm going to go anyway. <laughs> and I drove over there. And Only if you're packing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I Let me swing for, by the house first. Yeah. I had one for each of you. <laughs> so I uh, I drove up to the school 
Remember Spanish when we went that one time? Yeah, I do. I'll never forget. It was awesome. We went that time and it looked like, <laughs> what? Carmen, we went one time and we pulled up to the school and it looked like it was time for release. That's how many parents were there. There was one truck, just that dude sitting in the back of the truck and I rolled down the window. I go, what What are you guys doing? And they're like, there's a school lockdown. And I go, what are all these people doing here? And they're like, same thing you're doing here. And I go, we all came to fight. And he's like, yeah, yeah. Like, all right, yeah. I like it. <laughs> Florida. This, that's Florida, it, yeah. yeah. It was crazy, Carmen, because they really were, like, they had this, they were there for the same exact reason we were. They were like, it was like 100 of them. Yeah. Should we start a militia? Yeah. <laughs> like, do we go in now or do we wait for the call? Was that the one that was the Uber Eats driver yes. yeah. delivering a pizza? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that's, one of the kids called Uber Eats, and there was a driver on on the yeah. campus, and that's what shopped that down. He went to the wrong door. <laughs> so yesterday I pulled up, and I pull into the school, and the principal is standing outside. And she doesn't look worried, but I pull up to her and I go, hi. And she goes, hi, are you here for pickup? I go, no, I'm here because the school's on lockdown. And she goes, oh. She goes, it's the school across the street. And I go, what's uh, what's going on? And she said, evidently, there was a threat made from one student to another on Snapchat. And uh, somebody said that they reported they saw that student there. And I'm like, that locked down the mm. whole school. Snap I mean, threat. Better, better uh, you know, safe than sorry, but that's weird. And she goes, we're fine. We're inside just doing classes. I said, okay. Yeah, it doesn't take much to lock down the school. Uh, no, but, I was going to yeah. say, they should tell you why then. They, they didn't, didn't tell us at all. My my wife saw it on social media. They uh, Usually they'll send uh, an email or a message afterwards. The, the police, well, yeah, the school has been pretty good like yeah, that. Yeah, like I'll get an email. But the um, the I think that on social media the police put that the school was on lockdown and then that made it to like mom groups and stuff. Somebody yeah. Like, somebody told my wife about it, so... That was uh that was my big thing yesterday. No, I didn't have a chance to be a hero or nothing, but you know, was over there in the area. I don't know what I would do. I'd just grab, I just grab my kid and run. That's the only thing I'm concerned <laughs> yeah. with. I'm trying to be a hero. I mean, I don't like. I hear all those horror stories about that last school where they were hearing gunshots and nobody wanted to go in. I'm like, I'm going. Oh, Uvalde, they would they would not let the parents go. Yeah, the parents were ready to go retrieve their kids. Mm -hmm. I I went when when Joey went to uh, Montessori school, which was, it's like on Aaron Cutoff, which is like a really rural area and it's a tiny little building and i was driving down the road and there was this weird looking like kind of homeless guy walking up the road and he was eyeing me and i was eyeing him and right as i went around the turn he dipped off and went towards the school and i went nope and i went back and joey's like five at the time so i go back and he's walking behind the school so i went in the school and i go hey i, I don't think this is anything but there was some guy and he was kind of eyeing me and as soon as i went out of sight he dipped behind the school and they're like behind our school and i go yeah he's back in the back and they were like, we got to lock it down, lock it down. And I go, you lock it down. I'm going back there. They're like, will you? I go, damn right I will. So I went back there, and the guy was way back, and there's a house back there, and he did not look like he lived in that house. Then finally I rolled up to the house, and uh, I, I saw the guy. A guy was sitting outside in the chair, and I go, hey, did you see a, like, a homeless-looking guy walking through here? And he goes, oh, that's uh, Floyd, whatever, make up a name. And I go, oh, homeless Floyd just walking through here? And he goes, <laughs> Yeah, he goes, uh, I'm a retired sheriff, and uh, I live out here. And he goes, every once in a while, Floyd comes by and does some handiwork for me. I give him some money, and I was like, okay. I said, oh, right. I just killed him, so he's not yeah. going to be doing yeah. more work. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I well, you're under arrest now. <laughs> well, is yeah. Trump? Don't Vigilante. Be, don't be justice. so naive, Galvin. I looked into this. Uh. So I, I said, well, I have a kid that goes to that school, and it looked like he was lurking in the area and walked in towards the school. He goes, oh, he's harmless. It's just tell them it's Floyd, and I went okay. I go as long as you feel confident. He goes, I'm a retired sheriff. I got I keep an eye on the school for them. I was like, right. then the more I thought about it, I think Floyd was doing gay stuff for him. Maybe, mm -hmm. yeah, because that guy was sitting in a chair with his nuts hanging out, yeah. and, and he was like, <laughs> All right. and like Floyd was kind of like looking around, like he didn't want to see anybody going over there. And I'm like, I think that guy makes Floyd yeah. do weird stuff. You would have killed his sweet Floyd. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sweet Floyd. Yeah. Uh, what do you plan to do in your retirement? I mean, yeah, yeah. Just hang out. my nuts out. You're right. I just, I just can't wait for you to explain to the yeah. police how many assumptions you made yeah. before you shot the guy <laughs> who was delivering the pool skimmer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm very. Uh, who's I'm very going to calm. visit his grandkids? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see my grandkids. <laughs> I have, uh, I have not pulled my my weapon on anyone. I'm just making sure the kids are protected. Mm -hmm. I'm, I see something, I say something, Galvin. You see that. something, you do out of control stuff. <laughs> I've not done anything. I had a perfect clean shot of two guys in my house, and I didn't even do that because mm. I couldn't get to the gun fest. Yep. Mm. Yeah, but then you and Joe like armed up and oh, went on a rampage. Shit. 
neighborhood. Well, at that point, I had to chase yeah. the guys out of my house. Once you've done that, you want to kill somebody. Yeah. And, and the we police, had a posse going. The police mm-hmm. were like, well, mm-hmm. I can't stop you from doing that. I really, really would advise it, but if you want to go do it. I have the <laughs> utmost respect for the police. And when they tell me, I need you to sit right here, I go, okay. Yeah. But what this guy was like, no, that you're, we got it. We got to go, no. I'm going. Yeah. I, I He's was like, well, I'm not going to go. stop you. Because I feel like they, you know, they are lackadaisical about it, and they will eventually find them. And I'm yeah. like, okay, well, I'm going to go get them now. Well, for, uh, like, you, it's a big deal, whereas they, that's Every probably day. the 10th yeah. call they've had that day. Right. 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 So it's not. They're and used nobody to was it. hurt. Yeah. There was, you know. Like, we see this all the time. My favorite still is the uh, Las Vegas thing, whenever Dum Dum asked uh, one of the cops to give Dan me a gun. Dan Bilzerian? Or Bilzerian. Oh, yeah. 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 Toss give me a gun. rifle. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> How great that that was caught on video, uh, too. Oh, God. Hey, man, the guy wanted to go to work. Oh, he knew what man. was going on. Yeah. Give me a gun. Give me a gun. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, okay, random <laughs> yeah. guy. Yeah. Here's a gun. Can you imagine if... They, well, look, you watch a lot of those uh, old Western movies. Just yeah. Slide a rifle over. <laughs> no. Not just random. Uh, here, social media influencer. Yeah. Take yeah. my firearm. Uh, was he in the military? I don't think I so. Don't yeah, no, I he thought was. he was a SEAL. Yeah, I think he actually was a SEAL. But this still, doesn't, you know... I thought he was like a trust fund baby. Yeah, yeah so but I thought, I. He, I thought he was a Navy SEAL. He's from here. Yeah, well, yeah, he lived here for a while. I don't think he, he was either a seal or he was in a movie where he was a seal. Was Dan Bl- uh, was he a seal? He enlisted in the Navy for four years and went directly into seal training after completing two hell weeks and 500 days of training. Oh, Blazarian was dropped from the program for a safety violation two <laughs> days before graduation. Makes sense if he's asking yeah. cops to right, chuck him rifles. Yeah. I'll bury it in the sand and then I'll kick it up <laughs> in the air and shoot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man. He looked good doing it though. He did. That beard is intense. The beard. The, he, he, I bet you he's tiny though. Now he it's sells probably. electronic cigarettes. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> he is on the list, and I think I have to uh, stop following. Uh, what's his name that was in here, John? Oh yeah, Sarah Cicero. Cicero? Yeah. Oh, uh, why? Yeah, it's too much. It's too much. Right. I did the same thing. Ah, oh, loser! Yeah. You're gonna come in. Hey, you don't even know what a pumpkin is. Yeah. I'm like, all right. I mean, it was funny for like the first 15 yeah. times, and now I'm like, all it's right, a little I much. Can't. <laughs> it's because you're out in Gen Pop with the losers, right? Not the high limit with me. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody who says anything to him, he just but, loses his mind. But and... then he, when he takes people's pictures and like makes fun of them because they said something bad. About by him that made me laugh he's like look at john's fat wife he's like john says that i'm an idiot <laughs> uh, oh i i hate to do that when people say something and then you look and they got a real gross wife yeah like when people make fun of carmen and uh, you put a pretty picture of carmen and they're like uh, meh, i wouldn't hit it and you go really look at this you. slug you're married to yeah but i'm just saying like, look yeah. at these fat pus toads that they're married to and they're like oh but carmen you'd say no to huh? i wouldn't let her bang me yeah i think you'd bang geo before you bang yeah what's up anybody Right. Let's get some Wawa quesadillas. I'll take it. <laughs> I still, to this day, have never eaten in a Wawa. Oh, oh so you're good. missing out. Oh, it's good. Yeah, I made. I started making a list of things that I've never done for nobody's interest but mine. I've never went ate in a, in a Wawa. I've never been inside an Aldi. So are these? I don't think. That... I don't think you're making a list. I think you're writing a country song. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never ate inside a Wawa. <laughs> But never these, walk through the Aldi doors. Are these the things that you're making a list of that you haven't done and you will never do? No, or? just casually okay. haven't done. Skip right. the Aldi, yeah. go to the Wawa. For yeah. some reason, yes. I make a list in my head. I made a list the other day of my top five favorite songs of all time. <laughs> For nobody. Nobody cares about them. <laughs> uh, so I, I just thought about it in my head. Give me the top three. Um, songs? Yeah. I like uh, State of Love and Trust by Pearl Jam. All right. I like... Um, uh, easy by the Commodores, right. and uh, I don't know. The, you know, the third one's hard. It's oh. just it's a combination of things. You can only have three. I don't know what order to put them in. <laughs> She's out of my life. life. No, that's uh, one of the top ten. I think you would like the Aldi. Oh, I'm not saying no. I would. He would. He's not too at rich. All. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's too rich. Yeah. Too rich. I He's thought just Aldi not a scumbag. Uh, I thought That's Aldi not... was a higher end thing like no, a Trader Joe's. No, no. not at all. Oh. It's cheaper. It's but listen, they do they I have there's some good finds in there. Good produce. They always have good produce. Mm. Oh, I, have, listen, I'm eggs. not doing the shopping based on <laughs> what things cost. So it doesn't matter if I'm buying it. So that's it why Aldi you would or... not 
That's why you wouldn't like Aldi because yeah. it's like specifically like off brand <laughs> things yeah. that, that you're going to look at it and you're like, I'm not buying this they Walmart can't sell crap. Rotten and eggs. I, they cannot sell rotten eggs. <laughs> but there's I'm some cool right, stuff. I'm telling you right now, you walk in there and you have to put a quarter in the cart, you're going to go, get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> First off, who has a quarter? Right. Secondly, what if I, uh, you know, then I get it back. Oh, I get it back. You should always have Man. quarters. Get yeah. out of here. That is pretty dumb that they give it back to you. you uh. I'm I, getting to the point now where I don't even carry my money clip. I just have my phone. And if you don't have Apple Pay, then I guess it's yeah. free. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> free. <laughs> my favorite is um, the Publix Greenwise store. Yeah. And it's, it's just got great stuff in it. And they have, like, hot food and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, you're not right an Aldi here. guy. No. no. If, that's no. Your, if that's your standard, yeah. no yeah. way. You won't. So then I never see me going to an Aldi. No. Yeah. There's no I reason mean, you bad. should one day just no. to walk around. Just take nope. a tour. Listen, I'm telling you, the other day, the other day I went to Aldi. Uh, to get some egg whites, and I found these gelato Sunday cup parfaits. They are fantastic. See, number one of... and two, they fit into inside my macros. Like I love finding <laughs> stuff like this. They because w- like you wouldn't see that I like at pop- fit inside your macros. <laughs> hey. But like they're indiv- individual little uh, gelato Sundays, and they come in like three different flavors. They were fantastic, mm. and you can only find them at Aldi's, mm. like stuff like yeah, that. There's yeah. stuff that there's stuff that I found at uh, Trader Joe's that only Trader Joe's has. Right, you know? gelato fit in your macros, but you won't fit in your jeans. Probably. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> right. I don't own jeans. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's, smart. That's, smart. Smart. That's why I wasn't talking about that. you. I'm just making yeah. a general for, statement. She yeah. doesn't own jeans for a reason. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, my son has never worn a pair of blue jeans. Really? He absolutely hates them. Why? Yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe when he was a baby, like a little five year old, whatever. But I think it's kid that age because my They're son so also. I could just I wear a pair of jeans. He's like, no. He hates it. I go, oh. why? He goes, I hate jeans. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, think about this. That like when we when I was a kid, that was like your only pant option. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah that is corduroys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. And Boy. now they have joggers, leggings, basketball shorts, sweatpants. Like They're you can basically take... sweatpants, they just yeah. call it a different name now. Sometimes he wears the joggers, but very rarely. They're, yeah, he's he has no jeans. He won't wear them at all for They're no reason. They're so uncomfortable. I will tell you, jeans are very uncomfortable, but oh, once so. they put a little bit of spandex in them. Yeah. yeah. That, but that's the, nah. those are no longer jeans. Those are spandex with oh. No, no, stretchy jeans. jeans yeah. Jean jammers. Yeah. Okay, no, not, jammers the, yeah. not the full on jean jammers. <laughs> Nothing wrong with stretchy jeans. Nah. Like I saw Everything's a thing yes- right with them. I saw a thing yesterday. They were like uh like work pants, you know, straight leg, little button, high waist things, but they were made out of like uh yoga material. Yeah. They mm. looked just they looked like work pants, but they were legging ba- like yoga basically. Mm. And I was like, I want every single pair of those. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. My wife has it very easy because she just wears those little lemon pants all the time, and you know she's got every one and a Stanley Cup to match every one of them. <laughs> so uh, it's an easy decision for her. And then, but Joey is in weird joggers every day and I don't know, shirts that I never in a million years thought he would wear. My wife has a bunch of different, uh, you know, the stretchy pants, yoga pants, whatever. And she had these ones like, oh, those are cool. I go, what brand are those? And she goes, Wild Fox. And I go, how much are those? And she goes, you don't want to know. Oh, no. (laughs) They were like stretchy pants that were like $400 or something. I go, get out of here. I go, you can go to Target and live for the next 90 years with the pants you bought from there. I'd assume they're all at the most like 40 bucks. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, that's like a median. Galvin didn't punch her because he made all that money at the Hard Rock. Yeah. 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 All right. Oh, by the way, I made a bet last night. Yeah. Can so I, did I, I? Let's see how I did. Oh, so boy. did I. Oh. Wait. Oh, I won. Let me oh, check. Hell yeah, yeah, win. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, wait. Hold oh. on. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. What do you got? Oh, no. Let's see here. Oh, they. Ch- you son of a bitch. Oh, you probably put it in wrong. No. Uh, <laughs> they adjusted it after I, I oh, bet, yeah. and then you had to yeah. accept it. Yeah, they have to tell you, yeah. Oh, but I didn't accept it because I was sleeping already. Oh, you oh. had it like. Oh, man. Well, no, you. So you, he had it the, like the, down to the last button where it says accept. And yeah, you have it. to. Hit oh, it again. so I, it's my fault. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, oh, you do have to hit it again. Sometimes it'll change while you're putting in the bet. Yeah, sometimes it goes up. Yeah, sometimes yeah. it goes from yeah. like plus four hundred to four fifty or something. You're like, all right, yeah. I like it. All, all right, well, you know, whatever. I'll have it for tonight. Do you know yeah. how little I know about basketball? <laughs> yeah, it probably is as little <laughs> as I know. Would you like to know how much I won on basketball yeah, last yeah, night? Yeah. Last night. Just on basketball, I won $841. Shut up. 
I bet. Uh, so I bet. I'm uh, worried about something. I bet one of the uh, players uh, that I can't even pronounce his name for <laughs> over eight point five uh, points. I got two hundred twenty dollars for that. I bet that the guy, the next, when they went down, the after the score was forty uh, nine to forty five, that the next field goal would be a missed three pointer. I won hundred dollars on Holy that. Cow. Then I said they'd make a three pointer. Won a hundred on that. Then I said the next uh, Pacers. Uh, field goal was going to be uh, outcome was going to be a miss three hundred and six dollars on that. Uh, I bet the over for one of the guys for ten and a half got a hundred dollars on that. Uh, I bet that uh, uh, Sakam would uh, have a uh, um, over one point five on three pointers two hundred and fifteen dollars. Uh, yeah, it just, it's just ridiculous. Oh, it's so cool, so great. So yeah. awesome. somebody's yeah. got to take Look. Geos away from him. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Look at all that red. Look at all that red. Not one green. 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 Oh man, I still have fun. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I still have fun. My kids can't go to college. I'm, but I'm, I'm doing, it's uh, fun. I'm doing something wrong. I think. Oh, I, I'm afraid to look and see if I would have won that bet or not. Oh yeah. What was the bet? What was that? It's a good thing I don't know. Mm. It was. I just bet like there were active games. Yeah, that I were that playing, and I just bet on. Uh, I like. I look at the what who's sport? getting the, uh, basketball. I looked at who was getting the points. And what the score was, and I bet uh, I bet the under on on one game, and I bet the winner on another. It was it was like a three team parlay. It's going to end now, but USF uh, basketball they've been on a thirteen game win streak. Yeah, they're in the top twenty five. And they were underdogs on a lot of those games. Could have won a lot of money. <laughs> you know what's so mm-hmm. funny is when I went to St. Leo, St. Leo's basketball used to make it into um, like they were good, but they were not in any up uh, anybody else's category or league. I don't know how right. they do this. <laughs> Once a year, they played Duke, and they were playing Duke, and uh, Duke was killing them, but, you know, doubling their score by halftime, and the guy goes, the announcer goes, ah, it's nice that they give these boys a chance every year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That's <laughs> very <laughs> They're playing the big stage. Oh, yeah. man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> March Madness is coming up. I'm excited. I'm excited to bet, too, and I just I figure an easy way is to find out what you're betting and just bet the opposite. 100%. Yeah. 100%. I mean, look at your red. It's uh, it's a lot. Please put your bets out, Gio. <laughs> yeah, you, really, the rest you of really, us. really should just post them. But charge uh, people for them so yeah. that they can. Yeah, yeah. I'll oh, pay man. you a dollar. Yeah. Set your loss. Can we just start calling you red, Gio? <laughs> 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 Sympathizing. I was uh, winning more during football. That's yeah. for sure. Mm. Well, you, you know, you know mm-hmm. the sports. The only time make. I had, like, I was winning, you know, a couple hundred bucks at a time was during football, college yeah. football. But that was a long time ago. <laughs> Did you see? Uh, so the Hard Rock Bet app, their Instagram, they'll show like different winners and stuff. And there was a guy who bet all of the unders on the NBA, and it was like I don't know, ten or twelve games or whatever they played. And he bet like I don't know, twenty five dollars or something, won twenty one thousand. That's wild. <laughs> yeah, it's great, man. It's great. I love. I, it just makes things a lot more fun. Yeah, so. it's a lot. Of I was fun. hurting. I was hurting when I was in California and I couldn't access it. <laughs> I felt like. It's good. It's like you really appreciate your grandparents while they're alive. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And when they're not here anymore, you're, you know. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, 727-579-1025 or 800-771-1025 with the phone numbers. I have an announcement to make, but I don't Did you read the email, Carmen? Yes. Am I supposed to make the announcement or not? I'm, I don't know. I'm just going to say it anyway. Bert Kreischer's adding a seventh show at the Mahaffey Theater. Oh my Can you gosh. believe that? Tickets go on sale this morning, I think, at 10 o'clock. So you people who don't have them, I do, and I'll be giving some away. Oh, he must be making so much money. So, dude, he, <laughs> he, he said to us on the air, he goes, the first show, you get paid, and it's a certain amount of money that you get and all yeah. that. Then uh, a second show that they had, he goes, that's where you get paid. And if you do a third one after that, now he's at seven shows. Well, I read an article the other day, and he was the third highest grossing comedy tour behind Kevin Hart, Dave Chappelle, and then Burt. Unbelievable. Yeah, and it was it was like I believe it. It was like over thirty million dollars. Look, can we be honest about something? I, I don't mean this to be insulting. I love Bert and I said I maintain he's still the funniest person I ever met in my life. Bert's not that funny. You know what I mean? Like as funny as Kevin Hart or Chris Rock. Yeah. The thing that Bert has is he's attracting all these people who just want to be in a good mood like he's in. Yeah. He don't get me wrong, he's very funny. And and uh, his stories are good, his jokes are good, but He's more of a storyteller. They're more of joke tell- uh, tellers, and people just want to be happy like he is. You know, yeah. you never see a video of Bert where he's 
you know, other than the fact that he might be crying in one, <laughs> but you never see a video of where he's he's just living his dream. We're watching this guy who everybody probably thought was going to be a loser in college live his dream. The persona <laughs> is a big part of, uh, I think, his draw. Right. Oh, yeah. 100%. You know I mean? But, I mean, also, like, like it's not just college kids who want to take off their shirt. There's a couple of those in the front row, and, you know, they want to drink beer with them. But everybody else just wants to be happy. He's always, he's always in a good mood. I've called him up, and he's like, oh, I go, what's wrong? Oh, I'm just I'm stressed out, and this, and I'm a bad father. And, uh, but in five minutes, like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, he's always happy. I think he's making he's making people's lives happier, and uh, that's why you get seven goddamn shows in one theater. And he's going to be here for a month just doing shows to Mahaffey. Crazy. So uh, tickets go on sale this morning. I'll give you all that information, and I do have some to give away. And we came up with a great way to give them away, uh, and I will tell you about it probably in the seven o'clock hour this morning. <laughs> it's going to cause mass chaos. But it'll be good. All right, let's take a break. We'll get the show rolling. Carmen will tell us what else we have to give away this morning when we come back, and we will get right into Sporkle. It's the Mike Caldas Show. This is 1025 The Bone. Joe, where are we broadcasting to right now? Uh, YouTube. For real. Are we? (laughs) For real. For real. I think so. Is Carmen on there? Uh, Yes, Carmen is. Oh, no. Gio's going for the check. Here we go. What do, you, what do you see? What do you see? I do not see it. No. I see it. Oh, okay. All right, hold on. No, no it's on there. I yeah, see it. Hold on. Really? Carmen? Yeah. I see Carmen, too. I see a split screen. That's right. That just Ooh. came up of Mike and Carmen. I see Carmen. Um, I see Anthony. I see George. I don't see. Oh, Greg. Oh, oh, okay. Here we go. Wow. It's not popping up for me. I'm on the YouTube. You got to go to the, the actual. Show. Yeah, you got to go to the actual <gasps> show page. Look at that. Yeah, I am. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Carmen looks great. <laughs> she said, oh, geez. It looks fantastic. <laughs> Carmen, I think you look great. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I turn I don't, that light down. A I don't Carmen. believe it. She looks very pale. You're yeah, a little over, yeah, a little, little, You're a little, little over bright. on your macros. <laughs> 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 you're a little on, over on the macaroni. <laughs> I know. Trust me. No. no, you're fine. Carmen, I think you look good. I appreciate it. Yeah. I'd love to tell you you look bad, but I think you look good. <laughs> by the way, by the way, Spanish, can I just point out, you never have to turn your microphone off. Ever, ever again. Right. <laughs> did you hear what just happened I there? Yeah. I did. Yeah. And then the show yeah. just keeps going. Oh, that was on the air? Yeah. yeah. And, then I wa- and then I watched it on YouTube. Yeah, I don't yeah. care. People blow their nose. It's, oh, it's right. part of life. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what happened. It's yeah. not Scott Shannon's not listening. Who blew their uh, nose on my radio <laughs> station? Do you know, do you remember that story with Scott Shannon? I don't. When I was on the air one time talking about how uh, we were talking about like people you meet that you that are like your idols and you never want to meet them, and I talk about I met Richie Sambor and I like Richie Sambor so much and he couldn't have been the sweeter nicer guy. Then I met Scott Shannon one time and he couldn't have been any meaner to me Aww. ever ever. I, I was like, I was twenty two years old maybe, and I met him at that conference and I said I just want to tell you I got into red. He just on me off and push me off and somebody else was like all right what a dick oh. i don't have vulnerable moments very often mm-hmm. in my life and i did on this one and this guy just pushed me off like a real a real jerk Not off cool. and i talked about it on the air and some lady who was trying to be our producer she was like a 60 year old lady who wanted to be our producer mm-hmm. after john left and she contacted scott shannon and he reached out to me and he said uh I understand from this woman I was I was rude to you one time. I can't imagine why I would be, and I'm so sorry, and I'm so happy for all your success. And, my, and I was like, why don't you call the show tomorrow, and we'll talk about it. And he goes, all right. And he did. He called into the show. And, uh, I mean, this guy is a radio, not just Tampa, he's a radio legend. I mean, he took he took a, the Southern Boy thing that he had going on with. He created the Morning Zoo here in Tampa, Q105, and then he brought it to New York and made it the biggest thing in the country, and then every city had a Morning Zoo. Uh, he called into the show to apologize to me. Like, how do you not respect a guy like that? And I go, hey, you didn't really have to apologize. I just was, cool. hurt my feelings a little bit. And he was like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. He basically was like, I used to do drugs. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> no, 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> Different time of my life. <laughs> yeah. No, he was he was really cool. And I uh, I couldn't believe he did that. And I have a whole new level of respect for him and appreciation. And uh, that lady was a way better producer than you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, got shot. Got Luke shot Carmen out. still will stick up for you forever. She's a good person. She's yeah. Like, oh, oh yeah. I'm saying I'm a bad person. No, that's not. Please don't. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is I texted you yesterday and took you an hour to text me back. That's, uh, yeah, it's Even true. Even on a text. It's true. Yeah. Well, true. Jeez. Jeez. I apologize, Michael. It's, yeah. You texted me last night. How long did it take? I mean, I didn't even hit send. You texted me back. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> 
way I was... <laughs> Thank you. No. Yes. What What is your problem? Oh, I don't even want to get into it. Oh. I don't even want to get into it. Fart in your face. <clears throat> I just I gave you a whole speech yesterday how I need to get a hold of you. And you're like, okay, I'll go. And then it took you an hour to text me back. Right. I apologize. My phone was on loud. It was mm. next to my head. Yeah, I was oh. taking a nap. What phone you, was on you... loud? Yeah. What does that mean? Like, the like ringer? a loud ringer. Mm. And that made it hard for you to answer it? No, I. that's what I'm saying. I was trying to answer it. That's why I had it on. <laughs> I had it on loud. Oh, you okay? So you turned it on loud, it on silent, loud in anticipation of somebody right. calling. Yeah, because I it still didn't work. I, do, I keep it on silent because when I don't keep it on silent, everybody calls and texts me all day. Anyways, because everybody has my number, so it just blows up all day. But I'm trying to be better about it, so I apologize. I'll yeah, take a bit, I'll take I was going to say, maybe yeah. that's on you. That, yeah. The fact that everybody has his phone no- number, yeah. maybe he's not answering all the time. All right, I'll give you a little of that. <laughs> yeah. Constantly yeah. being texted relentlessly. <clears throat> yeah, right now and I called. have, I have. Uh, do you know over a hundred missed text messages? <laughs> you know what you should do is take the phone away from uh, I don't know how to use a phone over here and yeah. give it to him so that he has a direct line. Like a bad that, phone. Uh, yeah. Wait a second. So and you know you could you could uh, do not disturb your phone except for me. I don't know how to do that. Well, I've tried to do that before. Simple Google. All right. Oh, yeah, I can show Geo you. Can do that. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like I have a do not disturb except for my wife. So if okay. my wife calls me, it'll ring no matter what. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. I changed your ringtone and everything. You probably muted it. No, I did not. Mm-hmm. I did not mute it. It's a fun I feel like you look at the phone and go, you ain't getting me today, buddy. You ain't not, me today. 100% not the case. Your new ringtone, whenever you call, is, do not answer. Uh, do not yeah. answer. <laughs> You're going to get yelled at. By do way, not I didn't, answer. I didn't get mad at you yesterday because I wasn't calling you for anything urgent. I was calling to see if you saw Bitcoin went to 55 yesterday. I did. Yeah, I did. Ooh. This is going to be a really good year. This is Especially Ooh. when we In declare World War III, it's going to go through the roof. What was In the last one? Um, the, when you went down, what, 30 something? Well, it was up at 60, 60 at one something. point. Yeah. 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 Then there was a big drop off. And then off. it dropped to like 10. Oh, 10. Wow. Yeah, I think it might have been 10, 20. But uh, yeah, it's supposed to, this is supposed to be a really big year. No, I don't think it's tell you that. I think it might have dropped to 20 something. Uh, maybe 20 something. Uh, but that's still <clears> huge. Because, <throat> I mean, you know, if you buy in at 20, now it's so going yeah. back up. When do you start pulling your money out? Oh, well, I'm not uh, taking my money out. Yeah, yeah I'm not either. Uh, you got it. So. Carmen, the, what's happening right now is a lot of people like banks are using uh, like the blockchain to store data instead of keeping them on uh, like big server rooms, and it's all tied up in there. So like they need Ethereum and Bitcoin to to pay for all of it, and that's I, what they do. I right, but in I'm a saying nutshell. I'm saying it's up right now. So before it takes that huge plummet like it did before, oh, I just gotta follow the whales. So yeah, every four to seven years, you're gonna have a big dip. No matter what, that seems to be the trend. Every four to seven years, there's a big dip, but then there's always a I big I feel like you're a big dip. Surge. <laughs> <laughs> always. Yeah, it's yeah. an election year. The stock market is doing great for By no reason. By the way, I want to make sure you guys know you're taking financial advice from a guy who lost $100,000 because oh. he <laughs> didn't take his money out last time. Yeah, it was more than that. Yeah. yeah. Can I tell you that um, I, I realized just uh, how smart you are because oh. you, un- no, you understand <laughs> a, a lot of things. I tried watching Oppenheimer for the fifth time. It is boring as all hell. It's yeah, just it's a boring, boring movie is what yeah, it is. Yeah. It's not that you don't understand it. I watched the movie. No, I understand it's the a, movie. It's boring, right. but it's I, 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 there were times where they were talking about quantum physics and all that stuff in Spanish. Always can, not only does he talk about it, but he can explain it as he's talking about it, which I could not do. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I love and, that stuff. Yeah. Apparently, neither can Christopher Nolan. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was, I mean, I and I also know that at the end, there's no big uh, drop in the bomb scene. So I'm Total like, bummer, man. Yeah, so why am I watching it? Especially because remember, there was that big story that he recreated an explosion and right. filmed it for the movie, and right. then it was never there. That was kind of trash. So I don't really know what the, the right now, I'm not into it. They all, yeah. they're all, they're all communist sympathizers. Yeah. <laughs> I have no, yeah. I Do you know. feel that there's a need that you have to like Oppenheimer or watch Oppenheimer? No, or? it's just I know a lot of guys who watch it that I respect and like movies that are like, this is a really good movie. Right. And uh, so I'm like, all right, I know sometimes I'm, I, I'm, you know, a little, my attention's not there. So I gave it yesterday. I was home alone. I'm like, let me try to watch it at least like an hour of it. And I did, and I just thought, I don't like this movie. No. I, I will like tell it. you that it. the majority of award-winning movies are not good movies. They're, I don't know about that. Uh, the majority of award-winning movies Yeah, I don't. I, don't, I heard you. Movies. I just don't agree no. with you. <laughs> like, Best Picture, if you go <laughs> through Best Picture, a lot of them, you'll be like, yeah, that was terrible. This was no good. Yeah. This was good. There's a lot of movies 
that you're going to like that were nowhere near being nominated for anything. Yeah, I you don't. I mean? it, it has nothing to do with nominations for me. I just went by people that I know that liked it, and I was like, all right, I'll watch it. And also, it's got all the like the great actors in it. And I'm like, yeah. it's got to be good. Yeah. It's not. I watched it. I think yeah. about. I think about the uh, hour of the Stallone uh, <laughs> show the other day that I watched more than I think about what I saw in Oppenheimer. I have to tell you though, Oppenheimer, I did. I did enjoy it for myself, but I it did not need to be that long. There, yeah. there was no reason for it to be three hours. There was so many slow scenes of them just like walking also, around. Also, ask me now if it's in black and white or color. I'll tell you black uh, yeah. and white. Yeah, <laughs> yeah see, I, I don't understand. I don't like the black and white stuff. And just like weird it. sex scenes out of nowhere. Yeah. And just, yeah. It was just weird. You know a movie I saw that I didn't think I was going to like that I really like was that Maestro movie with Bradley Cooper Oof. where he's Leonard Bernstein. I thought that was good. I didn't I, watch that. Uh, I would, but. I watched five minutes of it and I said, no, I'm not. Yeah. The worst part <laughs> about it is Bradley Cooper thought that was going to be his movie, man. He thought that was going to be his Academy Award movie. So in my opinion, he definitely deserved an Academy Award because they have video of them side by side, or not side by side, but at the end they show Leonard Bernstein and he looked just yeah. like Leonard Bernstein. But you know what the problem? He's not Ray. We do, we all know. All right, yeah. You know what I mean? We don't know Bernstein. I didn't know we who he was. Well, I've heard the name a million times, whatever, but I don't know him. Like, I didn't see him on Johnny Carson. Yeah. I did. He's not Ray Charles that you know yeah. exactly Ray Charles hugging himself and doing that with the glasses and yeah. everything. Where Jamie Foxx nailed that so perfectly. Yeah, he did. You sat there and went, yeah, he uh, embodied Ray Charles. Yeah. That was unbelievable. Yeah. The, the Leonard Bernstein, the story, Carmen, is a, it's an interesting story. But uh, Bradley Cooper was, he, I mean, because I watched some videos of Leonard Bernstein after, and he had the voice down. And that, uh, so that's a sign of a good movie to me. Yeah. When you watch something, you're like, I got to go see what the real guy yeah. is like. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and I like him, so I'll probably watch it. I just never got around to it. I mean, I'm, I'm what am I, three years later on Oppenheimer, yeah. still trying to, still trying <laughs> yeah. to digest I suggest it. you pass on Oppenheimer, check out 80 for Brady. Uh, <laughs> I refuse to watch Eddie for Brady. Have you seen that? It's, I, mean, I look, did not see it. It's great. It's got legendary actresses in it. It's I, a great performance. I will no. tell you, Wonka greater than Oppenheimer. Yeah, really? Uh, I, you know what? And I also, I did it. the same thing with Barbie. I tried to watch Barbie, and I got a half hour into it. And I was like, "This is a Barbie." Sorry, is it, a bad. Barbie is not for us. Right? Yeah. Exactly. It's not for us. It's it was. Cute. I watched it for my wife, yeah. and even my wife said. Yeah. Uh, you know what Bradley Cooper needs to do? Go back to making movies like Limitless. Oh, Limitless yeah. was a great movie. It was good. But that's your wheelhouse. Like that's the kind of movies yeah, you good like. Movies. Yeah. yeah. No, no. Like, you like <laughs> you like the action movies and I mean Limitless is a great movie. Yeah, it's a really just a great movie. But I thought I thought he was great in that uh in that chef movie that I saw oh, the other day. Yeah, that, that was a really great good. movie. Yeah. yeah, he is good. No man. action. That was yeah. a great movie. No, yeah, that no action. Good. That's true, yeah. <laughs> uh all right, we got some stuff to give away, Carmen. What is that stuff? We do. We have a bunch of stuff. So we have tickets for J-Lo. Carmen is the keeper of Sporkle. Pap-Pap is your judge and scorekeeper. Carmen, what are we playing today? All right. Today we're going to play sitcom Husbands and Wives. Can you name the sitcom when given the actor and actress who played husband and wife Oof. on the sitcom? Okay. Okay? Your first one. Kevin James and Leah King Remini. Galvin. Brad Garrett. And Everybody Joy- loves Raymond. No, that's oh, and Jolie what? Fisher. In between, I don't even know. Brad Garrett and Jolie Fisher. No, no, no. Till death mm, yeah. is what I was looking for. Robert Young and Jane Wyatt. Father knows best. Mike. James Avery and Janet Hubert. Um. Family James, Matters? James Avery and Janet Hubert. Oh, uh, uh, a little, little. Yep. Uh, Dynamite. Oh. What is it called? No, that's John Amos. Yeah. I was looking for The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Uh, is that Uncle yeah. Phil? Yeah. That's yes. a real name. Yeah. Yep. I got him confused with Al. Yeah. John Krasinski. The and office. Jeff, the Office is correct. Pap, pap. Geo. No way. I answered before no. Geo. No, Geo. No way. I answered before Geo. I don't know. Thank you. Geo gets the point. Trash. <laughs> no integrity. <laughs> that was no integrity, Geo. I said The Office before. I no, you did not. I said The Office before okay. you. Okay. No. Take Geo the gets point. The... Get, no, get, I don't no, want get, it. I don't want it. The the trash point to him. Never have integrity. Give the point. No, I don't want it. Such a no baby. point. How about this? No point. No, Gio got the point. That's yeah. what the judge said. Those are the rules. Let's Baby's go. throwing his tantrum. Oh, like you never throw a tantrum. Episode volume two. All right, your next one. 
Patrick Duffy and Suzanne Summers. Dallas. Oh no. <laughs> Patrick Duffy and Suzanne Summers. I can see her dumb face. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, oh. oh, I know it now. Great show. Know. Perfect step by step. No. Step, step by, by step. step. No point. George Lopez and Constant Marie. The George Lopez show. The Lopez's. The Lopez show. This is a show where I bring all my Mexican friends with me. Lopez. It was called George Lopez. Ah. Uh, oh. Damon Wayne's and Living Color. And Tisha Campbell Martin. That is. Uh... Damon Wayne's and Tisha Campbell Martin. Damn it. Mm. Something marriage, right? My wife and kids. My wife and kids. Uh, My wife and kids. Oh. Uh, no point. I was going to answer. <laughs> Neil Flynn and Patricia Heaton. Neil Flynn. Neil Flynn and Patricia Heaton. Oh, the middle. Galvin. Max Wright and Anne Shedeen. How do you spell that? S C H E D E E N. Shadeen. Shadeen. Max Wright. Max Wright and Anne Shadeen. Mm. Max Wright. Elf. Elf. Mm. Alf? Alf. 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 Hey, Wooly. John Ritter and Katie Seagal. Three's Company. Ah, uh, God damn it. Oh, man. Great show. I know it. John Ritter and Katie Seagal. Mm. Eight simple rules. Correct. Mm. No point. Yeah, no then point. he died. Yeah. Show was so good he died. <laughs> then Galvin cried. Yeah. Oh, I totally did. I love John Ritter. Bill Cosby and Cosby Felicia. Show. Geo and Pat Pat, we're halfway there. Spanish is not on the board. He has zero points. Ooh, he almost had oh, one, though. Oh, man. Michael has one point, and Geo and Galvin are both tied with two. All right, we're playing sitcoms, husband and wife. Your next one David Hyde Pierce and Frazier. Jane. Frazier. Mike. Woody Harrelson and Jack. Cheers. Galvin. Ed O'Neill and Sophia Vergara. Uh, and Sophia Vergara. Uh, <laughs> oh, that, Modern Family. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. sorry. Spanish gets a point. Spanish. Jerry Stiller and Estelle Harris. Seinfeld. Mike. Terry Crews. Brooklyn Nine Nine. Uh, Tashina Arnold. Nobody knows. Man, they'll give a show to anybody. Terry Crews, Titus on Yellow Television. Everybody hates Chris. Peter Boyle and Doris Everybody Roberts. Raymond. Galvin. <laughs> Peace and Carol and Loretta Swit. Yeah. Smash. Galvin. Eddie Elbert and Eva Gaber. The, no. the month. No, the what is that is. show? The farm show. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's no Green Acres. Green Acres. No, Green is, that, Acres that, that, damn it. is what I was looking for. Green Acres. I love that you, what do you call her? Uh, Eva Gaber. <laughs> Eva Gabor. Eva Gabor. Gaber. You know. Art Carney and Joyce Honey Randolph. Hunters. Mike and Pat Pap. We're on the last three. Spanish has a single point, Geo doubling it with two, Michael doubling that with four, and Galvin is your leader right now. He's winning with five. All right, last three, sitcom, husbands and wives. Here we go. Carol O'Connor. All the family. Mike. James Belushi and Courtney Thorne Smith. According to Jim. Galvin. And your last one. Scott Bayo and Aaron. Charles in charge. Joni loves Chachi. Scott Bayo and Aaron Marin. Happy days. Spanish. Oh. Yeah. All right. Aaron Marin. Mm. Your final, final score. Oh, your final <laughs> score. 
Spanish and Geo both with two points. Michael with five. And Galvin is your triumphant champion today. He won with six. Good job! There you go. Congratulations, Calvin. Pick a line. Mm, I'm going to go with line five. Line five. Good morning. Who's this? Loser. Pick another one, Calvin. Fine. Uh, I'm going to go line four. <laughs> Good morning. Who's this? Come on. Oh, now I'm starting Hello. to think. Hello. What is your name, sir? Ed. What is it? Uh, Ed. Uh, right. Hold on. You're a winner. All right. Pick another one, Galvin. Uh, line what? one. No, I'm going to give out two prizes. Ugh. Line one? Yeah, line one. Good morning. Who's this? I'm starting to think it's not them. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Yes. Karen. It's Karen. All right, Carolyn. Hold on. You're also a winner. There you go. Uh, uh, <laughs> Carmen, did you get the email that I sent you there? Yep. I texted you and said I got it. Oh, sorry. I didn't see. Uh, I have a question for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you guys do anything? What do you mean? You guys don't do anything. What do you mean we don't do anything? I don't know. My buddy Dino says you guys don't do anything. Uh, I got a show. I got a voicemail, and I would like for you guys to listen to this and take it to heart. Carmen, play it, please. Galvin, Dino Cook, why are you the only one that puts an effort into the show? <laughs> Nobody else even tries. Yep. I mean, it's pretty sad. He's right. Hmm. Who was that? that? I get it. I was get Dino. It. Who's Dino? Dino Cook. He's <laughs> Radio consultant. <laughs> <laughs> when did he leave you that message? I don't know. Does it sound like you might have been drinking a little bit? Play it again, Carmen. Uh, hold on. Galvin, Bino Cook, why are you the only one that puts an effort into the show? Yeah. Hmm? Nobody else even tries. Hmm. I mean, it's pretty sad. Yeah. Do, you, do you think we all just got here by accident, Dino? It's uh, he does. He left at five oh seven a.m. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh. And like he called you Today? your number? No, no, no. This is a uh, um, it's voicemail. Oh, yeah, but not... it's an email. It's oh, an email okay. with the audio attached, so I don't know. Did he call you today? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so he was up all night wondering about it, and then yeah. was like, I'm going to call Calvin. It home. kept him awake. Broke I get it. Up. Yeah. Dino Cook. One Radio more time. Consult. One more time. You guys, listen. Calvin. Dino Cook. Why are you the only one that puts an effort into the show? You, you, the Nobody show else was, even tries. The show and wasn't even on sad. when he left this message. What do you think he was going on in his head? Hmm? Maybe yeah. he listens all the time. Yeah. <laughs> to what? I don't Probably know. listen to the overnight. No. Oh. You guys aren't even trying. Yeah. 507, Roger and JP were on. Right. Yeah. And this guy was like, I know Roger and JP are on, but Galvin, man, that guy really brings it. <laughs> that guy really does. Mm -hmm. Tell Dino what we have coming up in news, guys. Uh, coming up in news, Dino, we have Told You So, Bad Bro, and One Less Horseman. Ooh. Aww. Aww. All right, we got your news with Galvin. We'll do that next on 1025 The Bone. Bert Kreischer has announced a seventh show at the Mahaffey Theater. Tickets, well, I don't, I don't know if tickets are going to sell today or if I was supposed to announce it at 10. <laughs> <laughs> but something's going on. I got tickets to give away. I'll do that. Tickets <laughs> usually go on sale on Friday. Yeah. So, yeah. Sorry. I don't know why saying it a little early would be a big deal. Sorry about that. If, that's, if I screwed it up. Let me see. I'll look on the uh, ticket. Seven shows at the Mahaffey Theater filming his new special. Uh, here in the uh, St. Petersburg area and Bert's hometown. That'll be good for him. Yeah, so sorry about that. I screwed it up. Uh, I have an interesting thing to tell you about. I went to the foot doctor yesterday. Dr. Oh, yeah? Dr. Caloris. My dad has been going to him for years, and my dad said, I, I said one time that I have... He's, he's one letter away from being a different kind of doctor. <laughs> yeah. uh, I uh, talked to my dad, and my dad's like, ah, oh, Caloris, go see him if you have feet, foot problems. Well, I finally got to the point where my foot was really hurting me, and I went and had x-rays, and I got two giant bone spurs, one on each foot, and it's just killing me. He's like, it's just the kind of stuff where you'd have an operation for. And he said, but there's this treatment where they put this, like, jelly on the back of your foot, and they just zap it with this machine, and... Uh, I have to go five times. I'll tell you, I went one time. He said, it'll take three weeks before you really start feeling it. Out of the five weeks, I already started feeling it yesterday. That's bounce, good. Bounce a little bit better out of there. But this isn't really about the foot doctor. It's about the waiting room. So I walk in the waiting room, and uh, if you know what Hyman Roth looks like from The, from the Godfather, mm -hmm. this gentleman looked a lot like Hyman Roth. Okay. He spoke in his cadence. He spoke like him. So I was immediately attracted to the, to the guy. 
not that way. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I get my, uh, I go to the counter and they say, okay, sit down. We'll call you when we're ready. I said, okay. So I sit down and it's just me and Hyman Roth. And he looks up at me and he goes, I don't know the guy. And he looks up at me and he goes, how do they expect you to remember all the dates that you got the vaccine? And I look at him and I go, oh, I just make dates up. And he goes, you make them up. And I go, I do. I don't know. What do they know? They're not going to read this. They don't care. <laughs> and he goes, oh, I like that. And he goes, I don't remember. I don't remember the uh, answer to all any of these questions. And I said, uh, well, I know you're not pregnant. And he said, uh, that is true. And he goes, not a tobacco smoker. Are you? And I go, nope, never have been. He goes, I couldn't give it up. And he goes, so I never started. And I go, me too. We have become best friends. In my <laughs> mind, after the foot doctor appointment, I'm taking this guy home with me. He's got to be like 85 years old. Mm -hmm. I'm taking him home with me. He lives here now. No offense, Joe. He's just, <laughs> right. you yeah. and he will get along. <laughs> And uh, and I have a new best friend. Yeah. He's my old wise friend, mm -hmm. and we're carrying on conversations. And it got kind of quiet for a second. I go, "Can I ask you a personal question?" And he goes, "Sure," because we had this conversation on the show. I go, "Who are you going to vote for in the election?" And he goes, "Well, I don't think I have a choice." And I go, "Well, you actually do have a choice." <laughs> he goes, "Well, my choice is between two people. Neither one of them I really think." I go, "That's what we were saying." He goes, "But out of the two, I 100 percent have to vote for Trump." And I said, you do, 100%. Why? And he goes, well, because four years ago, or whenever years ago, when he was president, everything was much better than it is now. He goes, we're in a position now where he goes, There's, nobody has money, this immigration is carrying on. And he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then we, then we got off on a tangent on politics, which was okay because I started the conversation. And then I am like, this guy is the grandfather that I no longer have. I didn't really know my father's father, my uh, mother's father and it died when she was young, and my grandfather, Willie, just passed away. This is the this is my new grandfather. This guy's coming over for Thanksgiving. Oh. I'm going to introduce him to my in-laws. He's going to have to fight Joe for your yeah. love. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's I, right. I, I, I mean, this guy was, everything about him was great. He was dressed nice, and I go, uh, I almost went, I, I love you, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love you. And, and then he, um, we start to, uh, continuing to talk about politics, and he says, uh, you know, and who, who would they run against? I mean, what would they do? And uh, and he and I said, well, everybody keeps saying Michelle Obama. And he goes, can you imagine that little N word run? And only he said oh. the N word, oh. and I went, oh. Grandpa, yeah. <laughs> what did you do to me? Oh. I was taking you to meet my kids five oh. minutes ago, and then and then the worst part about it all oh. is that I didn't know what quite what he said but he made like a lower voice and right. he goes imagine that little landmark in the country and he kind of went and i went i laughed at it i laughed at it i couldn't oh. believe he said it and i laughed at it and i was like oh god oh god uh, i didn't know what to do he got that comfortable <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, john quinones comes out oh, what would you do oh, yeah, i didn't god. know grandpa you used the n-word no you laughed at it oh my <laughs> god Mike helped everyone. Yeah. He oh. laughed. cancel yeah <laughs> Yikes. That's then after that I was trying to separate from the conversation. I was like, okay, yeah. okay, cool. uh, uh, all right. Hey, good luck with your feet. Yeah. All right, good. Uh, <laughs> uh, then he looked at me and he was like, "Do you know the doctor in Colorado?" I go, "No, I've only met him once." And he goes, "He's Greek, I assume." I go, "I don't know." And clearly, these things are more important to you than hey, they are to me. Boy, yeah. What's he gonna have uh, to say about this? Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> "Yeah." I, I, I mean, I had to cut him off. Is, I had to tell him, Grandpa, you're no longer welcome oh, for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Turn your back on. Wait till he finds out there's Jews in this house. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. No. You're so you're saying them. my spot is safe, Michael? <laughs> you listen. Oh, you say that all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah get out of here. What? No, you know, don't movie it. posters no. and your Nazi memorabilia. No, I understand where you come yeah. from. With the you. minute Ian Thank left you, yesterday, we yeah, know what you he's did. just I throwing know. that word around. You should stop saying things like that about me. Yeah, it's very bad. It's very bad. So, um,. I mean, I know that guy is not listening. He had yeah. no idea who I was, nor did he probably. Impress. Different generation, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. where he thought that I, like, how does he know I'm not married to a black lady? Yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> right. That's and why he just so rolled crazy. it out there now. And I, Strong yeah. in his convictions. Woo! Oh, my God. I'm a retired yeah. investor on a pension. Yeah. I'm here yeah. to live the twilight yeah. of my life. That's oh. exactly what he talked <laughs> like. And he was like, can you imagine if this was the case? And I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't. At that point, I didn't lean in and go. I vote for Obama twice. Oh no! Smart, smart. No. You know I he didn't. didn't. Yeah. No, if he did, he had a lot to say about oh. it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time to check out with Galvin. He's got today's news. And now, news with Galvin on the Mike Calter Show. 
What do we have in news today, Galvin? 37 days, 3 hours, 34 minutes, 47, oh. 46, yes. 45 seconds yes. until Celta Cruz 17. Yes. Oh. Well, can I tell you this? What? Uh, what are we on? What is today? Tuesday? Mm-hmm. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. 10 days until my Celta cruise before the cruise. Yeah. Oh. I just looked at my calendar and I was like, I got to cruise next yeah. week. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> uh, well, the news is brought to you by Pelt Shoes. If you're going on the cruise, you need some cruise shoes. You need some new shoes for the cruise. Get out there, look all fancy in your Birkenstocks or maybe some flip flops. Maybe you need some uh, Sperry boating shoes or some of the Hey Dudes to walk around on the Lido deck. Ladies, on the Lido the- oh, deck. On the Lido deck. Maybe you need some heels for the uh, late night parties. Well, you can get them all right there at Pelt Shoes. And if you're not going on the cruise, if you need some athletic shoes, you need some uh, shoes for just uh, wearing around, you know, whenever you go around town, you can get those at Pelt. They have all the different styles and brands. They have six locations throughout Pinellas, Sarasota, and Fort Myers. Stop into a Pelt's today. Make sure you tell them Galvin from the Mike Kelter Show sent you. Uh, According to the Associated Press, President Joe Biden said he was hopeful that the temporary pause to the nearly five-month war between Israel and Hamas militants can be negotiated. Biden made the comments while at an ice cream shop. Oh, isn't that nice? (laughs) Uh, In New York, after taping a segment on Seth Meyers' late-night talk show, uh, the president spoke uh, uh, hours after Hamas militants backed off some key demands in negotiations for a hostage deal. Israeli officials had labeled Hamas demands as delusional. The major obstacle has been resolved in terms of Hamas insisting on a full withdrawal of Israeli forces in the end to the war. Over the weekend, uh, Israel's war cabinet approved broad terms of a deal that would involve a six-week truce and release approximately 40 hostages. I I don't understand. War, War used to be I fight you, you fight me, whoever has the biggest army wins. And now it's we take a break, we give hostages, we announce when we're fighting. Make we, sure you I guys get electrolytes. Make yeah, sure you yeah. drink yeah. some Gatorade. Right? Right? But hey, whatever it's going to do to save innocent people's lives. It's kind of fake, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I mean, that's unfortunately, that's how it all is. You know what I mean? Like they it's announce, all about the money. Sure, sure. They announce, well, even before they drop the bomb, they yeah. sent flyers saying, hey, the bomb's coming. Yeah. You know? I, I think just uh, prior to this, you know, back whatever, 50 years ago or whatever, whatever you want to say, wars. Uh, we just didn't hear about it as much. They were always negotiating. They're always doing stuff. No, like I know, but when it. they, but it's just it doesn't seem like uh, when you when you fight another group, you just go in there and we're like we're gonna fight until somebody until yeah. somebody dies and we take over. Now it's like scheduling yeah. pause times, and if you can schedule a pause time, schedule. Well, it all. that's because this isn't a war. This is a proxy war. You know, spearheaded probably by the CIA in some weird way. So you know, yeah, you yeah. think the CIA is yelling at Jerry Seinfeld? Do you see that Jerry yeah. Seinfeld leaving something, whatever, with his family, and they're yelling at him and telling yeah. him that he, uh, I forget what they were saying, uh, supports. I forget what. But well, he were. went to. Uh... Oh, he's Jewish, and yeah, but he went. He mm-hmm. went to Israel, didn't he? Recently, I, I don't know. I believe he did. Yeah, but uh, you know, uh, what is Seinfeld doing? Yeah, I, I love it. I love. I just I don't understand yeah. it. Anyway. Uh, side note: Can I just tell you something? Mm. I watched. Uh, you know, I watched one episode of Seinfeld before I went to bed. I watched the final episode last night. Yeah, I I think that was a lot more brilliant than I got credit for. Yeah, yeah, because it was a way for them to bring back all of those characters mm-hmm. over the years that you know. Soup Nazi, Bubble Boy, all this stuff. And, and you know, what other way were they going to end that show? Yeah. That's the problem is there was no good way to end the show. Right. Nobody was going to be happy with the show ending, no matter how brilliant the ending was. But this allowed you to revisit all the great characters mm-hmm. over the years that you loved. And, you know, now we all talk about Soup Nazi and all those guys. But back then you were not you were like, oh, look, it's a Soup Nazi. Oh, look, it's Bubble Boy. Oh, look, it's a, 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 Jackie Childs or whatever yeah. the guy's name was. Uh, you know, so I think actually it didn't get the credit for being a, a really good ending. Yeah, yeah. What, there aren't a lot of shows that had really great endings. Mm-hmm. Breaking Bad was one that had a great. Breaking ending. Bad yeah. finished that they right. did it right. You know? right. And then they gave you the second part. Sopranos. Everybody was upset about that, but that's the same thing. It was so good, and then you know, years later, you go back and watch. You go, all right. I mean, I get what they were doing. You know. We were hungry, and they did not feed us. No. Yeah. They just put more food, and they dangled mm-hmm. it above our face, and that was it. Uh, by the way, they were yelling at Jerry Seinfeld, F you, you support genocide, oh. is what they were yelling. All right. I mean, almost every country's done genocide. You know and, what I mean? Like, But the on. good thing was Jerry said, uh, what's the deal with genocide? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, not really. Uh, so conservatives believe that former First Lady 
Michelle Obama Whoa. will end up being the Democratic presidential nominee instead of Joe Biden. That's according to a new straw poll. Uh, the view put forward at the Conservative Politician Action Conference when respondents were asked about their thoughts relating to the Democratic ticket ahead of this year's presidential election. Other names considered likely replacements were California Governor Gavin Newsom with 32%. How could you honestly look at California and, and expect Gavin Newsom to win anything? Yeah. <laughs> because Although people... he is one handsome devil. Yeah. That's it, though. That's and why. They know his name. I don't know. I know his name, and he yeah. looks good. Yeah, but it's, it's, like, like, oh. it's like saying uh, you have the worst state in the union. People yes. are fleeing your state around the country. But have you met the people that are voting? Yeah, and the, yeah. the problem is, is I think because we are so on top of news that we forget that the average person yeah. does not but the, read. But the average person read yesterday that Sylvester Stallone and his family are not moving to Florida. They are fleeing California. But that's the thing. It, but, right, but people but, know that California is bad. And anybody that's been to California in the last five years is like, what is going on here? Depending where you read that story, the headline was different. Yeah. Sure. Some yeah. places it says Stallone flees California like all these people because it's horrible. And then other ones would say something that he's just moved to Florida because he likes palm trees or yeah. whatever. No. But the thing is, you think California is so horrible. But most people, like Spanish, and most people don't pay attention to that. They're like, I've yeah. never been to California. Well, the, the I don't other care thing about is, California. Is I've been to a lot of California in the last couple of years. L.A. is just horrible. The rest yeah. has been fantastic. Yeah. L.A. has got people just living on the streets. But I think a lot of that is people moving there with some sort of ex expectation of fame or having a job, and they find out it's the most expensive place to live, and they have nothing, and they have nowhere to go back to. I think that's part of the problem, too. It's not people just getting kicked out of their houses. Yeah, It's people, uh, but people's properties are being devalued because of all the homeless and uh, and the fact that that you know they are they are catering to those people as opposed to straightening things up. But a large majority of people, for one, do not follow politics all the time. Yeah. So they just see this guy. He's charismatic. He's they think he's handsome. He's well spoken. He's young. It, it, it checks all the boxes. He's he's the he looks like a president. Ever. Right. Yeah. He, he looks he looks the part on he TV. He looks more like a DC villain. He acts he like a president. But I mean, they I don't mean, care that it, that California or they're or they're not going to look up the fact that California is complete garbage yeah. and falling apart. And Gia is right because as soon as you see if if you're a you know if you lean more towards the left and you don't know Gavin Newsom, they but say all the right things. You read that he goes against Ron DeSantis, you're immediately like, oh yeah, that's my guy because yeah. he yeah. hates Ron DeSantis. Blah blah blah. Well, he makes some jokes. Yeah. He sounds you know. Good. And do yourself a favor, don't look up which companies are buying all the land in California because of all the property being devalued because of the homeless. Why? Who are they? Oh, it's BlackRock uh, along, with, along with Vanguard and a bunch of Chinese companies. Um, uh, I, I will say, in addition to L.A., I forgot San Francisco is pretty awful, too. Mm -hmm. uh, those two those two spots are really bad. But the other places I've been in California in the last couple of years, Monterey and in, Monterey's uh, gorgeous. Monterey is fantastic but where that's where the money is you yeah, know i mean whatever yeah. the money is it's, it's doing well um i don't know i don't know i i think gavin newsom the fact that he used to be married to kim guilfoyle and now she bangs donald trump jr <laughs> has is got to be irking him a, a that's lot that's got to come up if it comes down to him and trump oh, of course <laughs> oh, I, I, I think gavin newsom would take a, a debate yeah yeah i don't think that he would he would back away from a debate no nah, he did the one with DeSantis, yeah. and I, I they both made good he points. looks too good not to be on tv yeah oh, he crazy. looks the part yeah and that's the thing and it, uh, for a lot of people They'll jump in in like November and watch a debate or watch stuff and like, yeah. oh, there's the guy. Hey, if he does come in, that's a lot of crow he has to eat because he was the one. Even on that debate, oh, yeah. they were like, admit it, you're be you know you're gonna do it. And he was like, wow, that's yeah. Crazy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Michelle Obama is the front runner for the Democratic president presidential nominee well, instead who, of who Joe is this Biden. Too? This is from a straw poll uh, from oh, okay. Political Action Conference. Uh, and then uh, Gavin Newsom with 32%. Uh, Vice President Kamala Harris, 6%. Yeah. And oh, I'm then, so glad uh, that guy didn't bring her up. Yeah. And then uh, Democratic turned independent uh, presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr., 2%. Yeah. Uh, it's not the first time that Michelle Obama's name has been touted as a possible presidential candidate. I see uh, it more and more every day. Yeah. Yeah. That old man did say yesterday that he could never listen to anything that Kennedy said because of his voice. He yeah. did specifically yeah. say that, mm. which I think this guy speaks for a lot of old people when yeah. know a lot of the things that he said. I gotta be honest with you, the more that I hear Kennedy, the easier it is to yeah, listen to. When, when I first heard it, I was like, oh, that is, it's so what? hard to listen to and so just it's uh, yeah. it, what if he started every speech with singing betty davis eyes for <laughs> <laughs> that, or any of that spoke okay. old, okay. let me tell you what's going on <laughs> uh someone asked uh finance experts to name things that people in the middle class won't be able to afford in five years you uh, mean what tom segura calls the poor yeah <laughs> 
Uh, middle class. Uh, uh, so number one, extended family vacations, especially trips overseas. Uh, even taking a week off to go to the beach is hard for people right now. So think about doing, you know, a two or three week where you go over Europe or do whatever. Uh, five years from now, middle class probably not going to be able to afford that, especially if it's a family of five. We or uh, we canceled our summer vacation yeah. this year because we wanted to do a winter vacation, and we're like, it's just too much money to yeah. do both. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I that just I mean, we're flying to California to go to my niece's graduation, and the flights are going to be about ten thousand wow. dollars to fly over there. So we, we're flying coach just to make you know just to save money on that. That's crazy. It, it's insane. Uh, so, but that still puts us at like five grand, you know, for the uh, for coach seats. And we were like, look, let's not do something major because we like to go away, uh, and we don't have many summers left. Yeah. My son, he's seventeen years old. We like to go away in the summer. He said, let's do something light for the summer, and then we'll go away for the winter. I told my son all last summer, this is your last summer, dude. Oh. <laughs> I told him it was his last Christmas. <laughs> like Christmas time. Bob That's Murray great. said it best when, we were, when I was buying Joey a car the other day. I looked at him, and I go, this is your second car I'm buying you, and this is your last car. <laughs> yeah. And Bob Murray goes, uh-huh, until you buy him a house in another couple yeah. of years. I'm like, no. He goes, yeah, I said no, too. Uh, so another thing that uh, financial uh, experts said uh, people in the middle class won't be able to afford in five years, new cars. Prices have gone up significantly in the past five years, and it looks like the trend will probably continue. Uh, private school, the rise in tuition is far outpacing gains in income. Uh, enjoying retirement. Oh, no. People who retire in the next five years uh, might need to really rein things in to make sure that they don't blow through their entire savings, especially because uh, we're living longer than we used to. Yeah. Uh, and then also homes, especially in cities and other high demand areas. It's just harder to afford homes now more than ever. For those of us who have been following the World Economic Forum for years, there's a slogan that they used during COVID, and that was... I, by the way, I hate the way you said that. What? Yeah. Yeah. For those of us who follow the World uh, Economic uh, Forum. A, a superior folk yes. looking down Attention. on you idiots. Those of us who think we're so <laughs> smart. Yeah, you idiots keep buying yeah. into this system. But, you uh, fools. You're, uh, what does it say about gambling? <laughs> uh, do it. Top this, notch. Uh, but the this slogan, slogan is, is uh, uh, when it's COVID, packs a little bit. Uh, oh. yeah, yeah, no, it's uh, you will own nothing and you will be happy. So yeah, that's it. I don't feel and like that's be, gonna happen to me. Oh well, I mean, you can feel that way, but you're not in the one percent of people that the wealth is all going to. Uh, I thought their slogan was "Kick your shoes off, oh life." Yeah, no, oh, no that's, life. That's, that's the sad weirdo. For those that's the sad of you, weirdo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. For those so, of us who have been following right. the economic These forum, bunch of tools out here <laughs> not paying attention. I've been trying so hard to be on top of my savings for. It's I not mean, gonna matter. I'm not too far from retirement, and. Uh, yeah. What? what was that? Now, like according yeah. to your plan 20 years ago, have you updated your plan at all? No, I listen, I'm going to tell you right now, don't tell anybody, Carmen, this job's not that hard. So I'll keep doing this as long as I'm, I'm, you know, I, Undertaker uh, from the WWE, I said to him one time, how long do you think you're going to do this? He goes, until I look stupid doing it. Mm-hmm. He goes, I like doing it now. And he goes, if I do it, and then one day I look stupid, and then I know it's time to wrap it up. And then he did about eight years past that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So th- my question then becomes, if we're, you see how things are getting more and more intense with Russia and China, and they keep talking about cyber attacks, cyber attacks. So what happens when there's a cyber attack that comes in and just wipes out everybody's money? Yeah, it's all, it's all your crazy Bitcoin. Yeah. Well, you're, I yeah, have cash no, and gold. Yeah, cash and cash and, is not going to be anything gold. And casino you know, chips. Yeah. <laughs> you're, yeah. You're saying, I mean, I get what you're saying. I'm preparing for the future. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. You know, I'm not able to to defend against a cyber attack. That's what I'm saying. China. You that's, know what yeah, I mean? that's what I'm saying. People, the, the, when you look at how all the systems work together and how they keep pushing the entire world, you've read story after story how inflation isn't really real. Companies are just not lowering their prices to match what people are earning and they don't have well, any interest in stopping that. the guy from bad news bears told me i should buy bars of gold yeah so i've been doing that yeah yeah gold and silver i mean yeah. you could people with crypto unless you have it stored somewhere on a usb drive on a wallet what is the best thing to do for that gold and silver no 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 for, for crypto for my crypto you get a personal wallet that only you have a key to and you put it on a thumb drive Right, but also what if then, it goes corrupt? Yeah, the thumb then, drive? then, well, then no, you, but don't you have it. you have a thumb drive with your uh, crypto on it and stuff. But what if the whole thing collapses? Then what do you do? You plug it back in and go. What is this gold worth? It's not worth why, it. That's why right, you're on gold exactly. and silver. Yeah, you yeah. don't have you don't actually have anything. Mm, no, because once they start hitting, I mean, again, this is all you know speculation. But once those cyber attacks start happening and we are not able to stop them, 
that's you know everything changes Thanks. everybody's plan changes yeah, i got life lock i'm good yeah 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 uh a groomsman at a florida wedding got arrested after he attacked the bride who <laughs> happened to be oh. a, his sister so oh. his sisters uh <laughs> then while being escorted out of the reception he also struck his brother-in-law another bridesmaid a niece and his own mom i like oh. this guy oh, <laughs> this guy wants a party this that's a hell of a time who in, who invited brad <laughs> who invited brad well it's a, a brother and uh, you know. uh, i had so many people were mad at me yesterday on the show about i said i said on the show what do i do with the remaining ashes that didn't fit into <laughs> the urn oh. of my mom mm-hmm. do i just throw them away <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I said, what do I do? Just put them in the garbage? You know, like I was saying what to do with them. And people were like, just give me your mother's ashes. I don't want you to throw them in the garbage. I'm, like, I'm not going to throw them in the garbage. I was asking, what That's do you do what with you them? you said, though. But I didn't. I said, what Should is the proper way to trash? dispose of them? Junk <laughs> Jockey said they can swing by. If oh. you need to and pick up my mother? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. We'll dispose of the property. Yeah, don't ask myself. But also, I mean, you literally have water right behind your house. Why don't you just dump them in there, and then you look out oh, at the sunset, the water. Oh, my mother would never want to be in the water. No? Oh, no. You know, a lot of people go to Disney World. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they do. Yeah, they try to. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't do that. Uh, code. Andy Dufresne, Shawshank, dump them out, out of their bed. Code black. Code black. Yeah. No, they that, this is good at, like, shutting that down real quick, because they yep. know people are doing it. Uh, do you know how much they must watch you at Disney if they're oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I pick my nose a lot. Yeah. I try to grab my wife boobs on every <laughs> ride we go on. And as soon as it gets dark, I go, wah, wah. By the way, that band. Oh, that's awesome. Right. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. Dropping ashes. <laughs> uh, a third of workers would quit their job for the same pay somewhere else, uh, which means companies really need to step up their employee appreciation game, especially since nothing is uh, cutting it from today's list. Here are the top five ways companies try to make you uh, feel better employees being appreciated before you get that (laughs) yeah carmen yes do you feel like the company appreciates you i feel like the people appreciate but the company does not like what do you what does that mean so i understand i was going to say the exact same thing so locally john brennan jason meter those guys brian kelly those guys appreciate whereas you yeah you you go further out branch further out i'm kind of talking local Okay. Local, yeah. Uh, oh, local? Then, yeah, I would go eight. Oh. Eight? Geo? With the, John Brennan loves me. Like a one. Spanish? Like, are we talking financially or, like, just appreciated? Do you feel appreciated? No. Yeah. So what Two. number? Galvin? Uh, I'd go about an eight. Joe? Zero. <laughs> Zero. Well, obviously. Point zero. zero. Mr. It, met, it matches your effort. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. Uh, I, would, I, would say, I would say an eight. Yeah. Also, yeah, yeah. I, I feel this company. I feel like they they bend over backwards for us, and uh, we do the same for them most of the time. And I think we have a good relationship. So I I just wanted to see where people's heads were yeah, before we heard with the rest of it. Yeah. <laughs> that's but that's you know, corporate. Right but that's corporate. Yeah, that's not our. Pizza. Like if you do local. Yeah. I feel yeah, like I think different. I think locally, like um, if you ask me, like I, I if you asked me this last year I, or two years ago, I probably wouldn't have said the same thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But now I do. Yeah. You know? the, yeah. The, yeah. There's a big change. There's a big change. Yeah, and that has been awesome. It, which it wasn't, I would have knocked my, my number down to a four before. Yeah. It's so, so awesome. Double. Spanish upped it to a one. Nah, I, <laughs> to, I downed zero. it to, yeah. Uh, I can tell you that uh, I don't feel comfortable going to the luncheons. <laughs> Why? Yeah. <laughs> too many questions? That's too much. He, uh, you, uh, you got to stop texting me <laughs> in the middle of it because I sit up towards the front and he tries to make me laugh and sometimes he gets me to laugh at like these lulls in conversation. Because the problem is, is that every time you go to a gathering that has the whole building yep. in it, you know it's the same two people that are going to be yipping up the whole time yeah, and 100%. making jokes. Look yeah. at me. And it's two people that nobody really wants to hear from either. Yeah. And uh, I don't. I feel like I'm very good at self-motivation. Like, I'm very motivated. I do stuff on my own. I'm a little bit of a lone wolf where I can do stuff. You, nobody needs to say, hey, Galvin, we need to get this. I'm getting it done. Right. You know what I mean? So I don't feel like I need any of the stuff. So that makes me kind of go, all right, can I get out of here? What's going on? I, I like, uh, I, I hear when Jason, our boss, talks, he talks to me or talks to the crowd about the relevant things. Yeah. Like things that make sense, not a bunch of rah-rah BS that you're like, oh, Christ, I got to hear this again. And, and uh, like he gave this this speech a couple of meetings ago about being more number one. And I and I always feel that way. So uh, when he did, I was like, oh, I, I get this. I relate to this. Unlike some people are just like dragging on about, uh, I don't know, 
company pride and that mm. kind of crap. Listen, we're trying to we're trying to win. We're trying to do, we're we're in a very competitive business. So by the way, the I think point. he stole more number one from us. I think we came up. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so here is uh, some of the ways that uh, companies will try and make employees feel appreciated. Uh, health and dental. They'll give you that if you work 40 hours a week, which is why you're scheduled to work 39 hours, point yep. nine 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 a right. week. Uh, employee uh, employee of the week certificate. Oh. Which you could frame. Wow. Could she just got one of those. I, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> By the way, the way they wrote this is pretty good. I'm not even going to take credit for it. Employee of the week certificate, which you can frame and put on the world's saddest wall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Pretty funny. Uh, I don't I don't uh, I don't have any desire to be the employee of the week. I don't need you wanna show me that you love me, put it in my bonus check. That's yeah. Like, well it's well, nice you get a little bonus. Yeah, and that's yeah. why I like whenever like Carmen got it or uh Christina got it or certain people, you know, that you're like, yeah, they deserve that and they get a little uh, bump, they get a right. little money, they get a you know dinner or something, whatever. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's good. Not just a certificate. You want a little something. Yeah, and and that and that is nice that they that they recognize that every once in a while boy they love carmen because they named her the world's number one unsung, unsung hero for that sure was you guys yeah. no <laughs> that was, they did and we sang along with it yeah by the way jojo tried to bust us out because we all voted for the same person i go yeah, yeah. we're using our power yeah. right to yeah. Try good. Good. yeah yeah i think it's so just what if it happened if it happened to be a smoking hot girl that works there, we all voted for it. Oh, although you got to not talking, talking about, about you, Carmen. no, Christina. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But also, she is one of the hardest working people oh, in this yeah. building. Yeah. Yes, yeah. always uh, has good information. Always there, ready to go. Yeah, one hundred. Uh, casual Fridays. Who needs a livable wage when you can wear shorts one day a week? Yeah. Oh, hey. in, in our business, yeah, you can do whatever you want. All. Unless, although if, I got to tell you. If you're looking to sell advertising, you show up in shorts. I don't uh, know, yeah, really, I don't know probably not going to work yeah. out. Uh, employee discounts. Uh, you know, if you work at a store and you get a discount, whatever. Or if you get a uh, lunch, you yeah. know, if you work in a restaurant, maybe you get a slice of pizza and a drink for free. <laughs> what if, it's ship. Easy, if it's easy to steal from the place you work at. Yeah, you could do that as well. Spanish got a great discount on post-it notes yeah. and pens oh. and all kinds oh. of cool stuff. Dude, you yeah. need a pen? I got so many Actually, pens. Actually, we need a printer. If you can bring that, I, I get a printer. Yeah, but yeah. here's print, the thing: get by 3 here's the thing is he's not stealing that. That's yeah. we need that. Oh, and this is our office. I, I didn't say steal. I said he got a discount. I heard the word steal. Yeah. <laughs> what, one of the engineers looked at me and he's like, "Where are you taking all that stuff?" And I was like, "Technically, it's still a studio. Yeah, it's, it's just a satellite it's just a Why don't you location? turn around and go shut up and go wire something? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and why are you, none of your goddamn business? And why are you wearing shorts? It's not Friday. <laughs> 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 hey, I, I that, that was one of the things that made me feel good as an employee. We were talking on the air about uh, not having pens or whatever, and JoJo texted me and said, "Let me know what you need. I'll yeah, order yeah, whatever mm-hmm. you need." Oh. Uh, I liked, uh, like like uh, Carmen. You worked at a bar. You get a shift drink whenever yep. you're done. They're oh, like, yeah. Yeah, "Get drunk." Here oh. you go. See, the best was especially when I worked at Hooters. Um, our listener, Final Call Dave or whatever you get. We all know Dave, right? Yeah. Oh, he, finally Dave. Yeah. Finally, Dave, he would come in and actually buy me lunch on my Sunday shifts. Oh, and then, nice. yeah, it was nice. And then I'll, you know, I got a discount and stuff, but I would sit down, we'd have lunch, we watched some football together. Uh, and that That's was just creepy. That yeah. was, are yeah. you kidding me? That was the best. I, I like Dave. I will forever love Dave for that. Yeah. Uh, a uniform, and if you lose it, it's coming out of your paycheck. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, complimentary toilet paper, Kleenex, office supplies, as long as nobody we sees take you taking them. Yeah. Well, that's the whole thing. Uh, your own parking spot. Spot. Uh, it, too bad you don't make enough money to afford a car. So, you know. Uh, I have my own parking spot at Cox, the guest spot. Yeah, I'm just pulling right in there. Spot. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm that's just where you park. Yep. <laughs> I I was uh, pulling in there all the time whenever I was uh, running the board, and so they left a note on my car, and they said, "This is for guests. This is not for your car." And I go, "Yeah, I'm a guest. Yeah, I don't live here." You know what I did? I crumpled it up and threw it in the parking lot and parked there the next day. <laughs> yeah. What do you tow my car? Uh, I had uh, when I worked up in Louisville for just a little while. I did not know this going into my negotiations. But the uh, uh, building that I worked at, you had to park in a parking garage. And so I had to pay for parking Ugh. five days a week. And that really added up. I was oh. like, this sucks. I was like, can I get some sort of trade for parking? They're like, no, we don't have, oh, oh, have anything to do with that this. building. Bobby has to go from Westchester to Manhattan to do the bonfire every mm-hmm. day. So he has to drive into the city, which is going to take him about 40 minutes. He has to uh, go through tolls to get there. Now they added a congestion toll on the West Side Highway like because traffic just congested. So now 
in the city, you have to pay a toll before you get to the to the toll. Mm. So he has to pay that toll, and then when he uh, gets to the work, he has to park in a parking lot around the corner, of which he pays at least twenty dollars a day <laughs> for every for five days a week. Uh, you know, twenty days a month. Yeah. He has to pay twenty dollars a day to park there. I mean, at the end of the day, he's like, what are they paying you? Are they yeah. paying you enough to do the job? Because right, it costs yeah. you so much to get here. I gotta oh. pay to work over or park it over USF. That's Why? Crazy. Yeah. That's You're an just, employee. That's the rules. Holy smokes. Yeah, everybody that's has wild. to pay for parking. That's crazy, man. Yeah, they just deduct right out of your check. You should try the guest spot. Oh, I tried. Yeah. <laughs> I got I got a uh, a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to fight it. Uh, <laughs> really? Said, uh, yeah, it was. It, I kept like fight, like appeal, appeal, appeal because it was like a hundred dollars. And I said, I'll quit before I pay this. I go, so make the decision. Either I quit today, yeah. or you process the appeal because I'm that, not paying that. That parking pass is a racket at oh, USF. It's insane. Yeah, so yeah. I remember being a student, and you had to pay money to get a parking pass, and they didn't even have enough oh. parking spots. Yeah. To, to, yeah. So you were like, you were screwed out of a spot even if you didn't get there early. It's almost four hundred dollars yeah. for the year. To park it's crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, let me go around the room again. Carmen? Yes. You're going to be last. Gio, what is your, uh, how do you feel appreciated as far as the show goes? Um, Scale of one to ten. One to ten? Yeah. Like a two. No, <laughs> as far as this show, like how much we appreciate you. Oh. Eh, five. I guess how much I appreciate you. Uh, an eight. Okay. I got to keep going. Eight point right two. Number. Spanish? I would say 10. You think I appreciate you at 10? Wow. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, hear me out. I know. I was just clarifying. Hear me out. Because you could have easily fired me last year when I was going through a lot of stuff. Yeah. And you didn't. Yeah, because for legal-wise, I can't fire oh, you. Well, then I have five. Rental we didn't thing. want to tell you, but we did vote. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, well, thank you for not voting me out. Uh, Galvin? I'd say a solid eight. Joe? I'd say a good seven. Thank you. Seven. Yeah. Seven. Wow. Yeah. Well, I mean... You guys are saying he's terrible, and I insist on keeping him here. So clearly, I appreciate him. That's worth Thank more you, than Michael. seven. Yeah. Uh, Carmen. Ooh, I think like a four. Yeah. Mm. I would have said there was a time it was a four, but now it's way higher. Yeah, I still don't think you know exactly what I do. <laughs> I think Galvin has to remind you on a daily how much I do because no, lately Galvin's been saying you haven't been doing much. Yeah, that is, that is true. Not true. Macros are slipping. <laughs> that has nothing to do with my work performance. But there's so many things that I do on a daily that you still think Spanish does. Like what? <gasps> yeah, like what? Wow. I mean, like the other day, like when Spanish was out, like you were like, hey, would you mind like recording the show and grabbing this commercial? Oh, I out. do that every single day. Oh, I like there, that. Yeah, there, exactly. There are certain jobs like that that you like Spanish did when he was in studio that I do because it has to be done in studio. Oh. And that it's daily. And he's, and then just, he, he's just getting all the glory for it. Well, he gets all the credit from you, but I mean it's whatever. I don't care. What what that's credit, why I that's why I have a four. That's what why I credit say, oh, am four. I getting though? I'm just saying no, but I'm saying like he thinks that you record the show and you edit it and you do all this stuff. But Carmen, I'm but I, I do it. I hate to break it to you. He doesn't think I do anything. Haven't no, you heard I, the way he talks? <gasps> You don't think I think you do anything? I don't think. I, I think, just think you don't do it well. Okay, that's <gasps> equally the same. <laughs> Yesterday, we had uh, major malfunctions with phone TV, mm -hmm. and uh, today we're attempting to do it again to be live on YouTube right now. What time did you guys get here today? Uh, I don't know. Five fifty-five. Five fifty-eight. Five fifty-eight. Two minutes before the show starts. So yeah, I don't think you do that well. But I'm not complaining about it. So it is what it is. Okay. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It, you want honesty, or you want me to blow smoke up your ass? I didn't ask for either. Yeah. Well, well you did. You said that you you made a statement. You said that you don't think that. I don't know. I forgot already. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but don't worry, Carmen recorded it. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so Carmen and is the Martin least. Is... So what we learned is Carmen does most of the work. Yeah. And she's the least happy here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she has to work so much now. <laughs> And I don't get any credit for it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I <laughs> until mean, right yeah. until right now, and then give Mike, I mean, five minutes, and he'll forget that we had this conversation and start giving Spanish all the credit again. Uh, I'm the one. <laughs> I don't give Spanish credit <laughs> yeah, for anything. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. I don't, like, I don't know what you're talking about. I think she's uh, miscommunicating you, that. You're not giving I'm not credit. Saying... You assume that Spanish does it. Here's, here, can I explain that to you? He's the executive producer. So right. if it goes right or goes wrong, it's all going to fall on him. 
But the fact that it goes right and he's right. not doing it. But he, it, it, it's up to him to make sure everything goes right. Right. So he gave all the work to me. He did. <laughs> to make sure that it goes right. You, how, you, you all, gave all the work to Carmen? How? Well, you're at the studio. How, I can't record the show from here. You're a right. delegator. Yeah. I mean, isn't that part of the job? Yes. I think so. Good job, Spanner. That's not Beyonce. Was that Beyonce? <laughs> Is she a white person now? <laughs> I don't. Not that I. Her hair. There was, was blonde. claims, yeah. After she like went all blonde, everyone was saying that she was. Wow. Trying to lighten her. Did herself. you do that Spanish? I did not. Oh, okay. Yeah. You I did, did not get credit for that. I didn't watch the whole thing. Uh, so my wife filled me in yesterday about um, Wendy Williams. Mm-hmm. We started talking about this yesterday on the show. Has anyone watched that thing yet? Yes. No, I didn't. I Big drunky drunk, it. I guess. That's what I read. No. And cocaine. Yeah, drugs and alcohol for yeah. sure, but also uh, dementia. She's got oh, that yeah. Bruce Willis dementia Anastasia, thing. Yeah. yeah, I knew so, that. So uh, she has an adult son and a family that she has a relationship with. The family lives here in Florida. She lives in New York. They, uh, As she's slipping away, she appointed her son to be the guy in charge of all of her, uh, 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 what do they call it? Not Conservatorship? A, no, but it's a, um, there it's called something else. But anyway, they, they a guardian. They appoint, she appoints her son to be the guardian, and he's in charge of all the money. Wells Fargo, who has all her money, says they don't think the son is doing a good job. In New York, it's legal for them to say, we don't want him to be the guardian. We will appoint another guardian, and they just pick a stranger. And the stranger doesn't care about her. So now now she's really now, now nobody has access to her money. They can't take care of her. She can't do anything because it's all on the guardian. The guardian doesn't really care about her, so the guardian doesn't check in on her to make sure she's doing okay. So now she's losing Jeez. her money oh, and wild. her mind at the same time. That is incredibly oh. unfair. I don't even like her, but that's incredibly unfair. But think about how many other crazy people that aren't high profile that they do that to. Oh, oh, and yeah. then they have all their money and stuff. It's just she has a platform, has a voice, and people are asking her what's going on, whereas opposed to oh. Mary Anderson, who has you know $8 million, right. and they're just like, yeah, Mary, we don't think that your son's good, so Ooh. we're doing this and just taking that money. <laughs> A long time crazy. that was the argument that was happening to Britney Spears. She said yeah. they were all going blowing yeah. through her money, and mm-hmm. because they had all control of it. Yeah, but at least that was her family. Yeah, yeah. It's Again, true. I'd like to apologize for set, letting <laughs> saying they should let her free. Right. She should. Yeah. 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 Not good. good. What was it? The knife dancing? <laughs> no, it was the uh, smoke and the cigarette and the thing. Knife dancing, well, I thought was still crazy but funny. Yeah. And then whenever she was just smoking, I go, "What happened to her?" Yeah. And her her teeth are all separated. It's wild. Yeah. Uh, Wendy's will try to boost profits by introducing digital menu boards, which will have the capacity to display surge pricing that fluctuates throughout the day. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Nope. Uh, this could be uh, start by early next year. No way. So if you go after school to Wendy's, it's going to be more expensive. Yeah. yeah, you go at lunchtime, you go at dinner time, it's going to be more expensive. Yeah. Where a burger, say a burger is $3, now it's three eighty. Whatever. I would never do that. No. I will, but so, you, you might not notice. Yeah. You just pull up and order your burger. You don't think, wait no, a minute. No, if they have the digital board and they're well, putting yeah, it yeah, up Yeah, but there. it's not telling you. You're not it's checking just, prices. It's just uh, going and you don't know. Yeah. Earlier in the day, it was $3. Now it's three eighty. It's just the same as like Uber. You know? yeah. Well, but Uber set, tells you up front set, and you're going to yeah. get yeah. surge prices. Yeah, but uh, I don't know whether they need to tell you. They may have it written down You know, with a chicken nugget cover the in it. The future. Now I got to turn my back on you, Wendy's. Uh, yeah. Listen, I'm telling you right now. Wendy's food is okay, but there are at least the couple of Wendy's I've been to recently are the the worst customers. Every Wendy's that pull up, I can take all, and I'm like, oh, okay. And then I, I hate when I go, all right, thank you, and there's just silence. I, I said, thank you, <laughs> so, acknowledge have, me. Have or you, when it starts with the recording, yeah. like, yeah. welcome to Dunkin' Donuts, and then the person goes, yeah. yeah, that happens what? to me. Yeah. Hi, and welcome to Wendy's. What can we get you today? <laughs> I'll have a uh, large one. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> You're not the person on the recording, are you? Yeah. <laughs> Where's Ted? I want to talk to Ted. Uh, pro wrestling legend Ole Anderson passed away on Monday. Friends and family uh, members revealed he was 81 years old. Anderson, whose real name was Alan Rogakowski, Rog- Rogowski, Rogowski. Sorry, is uh, best known for his role as one of the original members of the Four Horsemen faction. Uh, the group consisted of Anderson, Arn Anderson, Rick Flair and Tully Blanchard. Oh, yeah. I first when I first saw that I thought Arn Anderson had died. I know. Yeah. Arn uh Arn and Tully and Oli, not brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Look like each other. They do. Not brothers. Look very similar. Huh? I had to look that up today. 
Uh, Ryan Gosling will perform I'm Just Ken from Barbie at the Oscars on March 10th. Oh. It's nominated for Best Original Song, and Ryan is nominated for Best Supporting Actor. I've never heard this song. Is it good? I'm no. Just Ken. Ken. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Barbie's adorable. Hold on, I want to hear a little bit of I'm Just Ken. So he's handsome, and he can, and he's got abs, and he can sing. Mm-hmm. So and life is unfair. And he's uh, funny and can do serious. Like, yeah, yeah. rich, he's amazing. Yeah. yeah, good for him. Yeah. Uh, an American Psycho reboot is in the works, and the internet seems convinced that who should be uh, the star of it? American Psycho. Remember, it was Christian Bale. Yeah. <sighs> it's same thing. Eighties and all that. Yeah. Who would be the star, according to the internet? Who do they think? I don't know. It's, it's not Danny somebody. DeVito. <laughs> but there is a correlation to Danny DeVito. There is a Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, no. McElhenney. <laughs> you're, you're getting closer. Dennis. Glenn oh, Howard. Yes, oh, yeah. because 100%. he's such a psycho. But he's yes. such a pussy, Dennis. though. Yeah, but he's oh. so psycho. Yeah. Like they did a uh, a mock uh, making a murder uh, docu documentary yeah. show, and uh, Glenn, uh, he was on. You know, he was the uh, main focus of it, and it was hilarious. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't think Glenn Howard. T- I mean, listen, he was good. He was good in that BlackBerry movie. Did you watch that BlackBerry movie? Yeah, no, he's That's a good guy. actor. Yeah, I'm just saying, I don't see him as a guy who's beating girls to death. You know, <laughs> but they're saying it because he's psycho and the implication and yeah. taking him out on the boat and all that kind of yeah. stuff that he always says. You know, uh, how about this? Yesterday in the uh, criminal trial over his stolen song lyrics, Don Henley addressed his 1980 arrest after a 16-year-old prostitute overdosed at his home. Ooh. Did you ever hear about that? No. Back in the day, yeah, 16-year-old was at his home. She wound up being a prostitute, wound up overdosing at his home. He called it a, quote, poor decision and said that he did not know that she was underage. What okay. year was that? Uh, this was in 1980. Well, that's still pretty recent mm-hmm. Yeah, to be having mistakes like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, 80. 80, 79, so anything that happened in the 70s or below, I'm like, eh, whatever. it was it was free. Wild West. Yeah, it was Wild West back then. <laughs> yeah, but it's also uh, you know, one of those things that you don't really know about, don't really hear about, unless you dig deep into Don Henley, because sure. Don Henley just seems like a nice guy. Yeah, who, I'm going to walk in the woods. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. poetry and all that stuff, whatever. But yeah. Surprise! I have some uh, breaking sports news. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. With the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I mean... This can make me very nervous because if this is about Mike Evans and it's not, this it's not is, good news. Then I, I'm know. very disappointed about this. Oh, boy. And now we go over to the Mike Calta Show sports desk. Geo with breaking sports news. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are releasing two-time Pro Bowl linebacker Shaquille Barrett. Wow. He had a $15 million option due in March, according uh. to Adam Schefter at ESPN. Wow. Sell your autographs now. <laughs> I've got it like so many Shaquille Barrett I know. autographed items in my house. Helmet. I have I have an autographed Devin White jersey. Remember I almost gave it to you by accident? Yeah. What do I do with that? I don't know. He's <laughs> they say he's, he's probably on the outs too. He's out. Mm-hmm. And uh I'm not hanging that anywhere. So now it's just sitting in my office. I yeah. just give it away. He kind of turned into a jerk. <laughs> I mean, I just don't know what to do with it. I saw it the other day and I'm like, I'm not gonna frame it. I my frame jerseys. I only have two football frame jerseys. It's Mike Evans and Tom Brady. I'm not putting Devin White up there next to it. Yeah, you know I mean? I'm uh, saving the, the space. Uh, give it to the person you gave the A's jersey to. <laughs> oh, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have my. I, I'm talking about upstairs, downstairs. I have my Grammatica and my Beckles jerseys down those here. Are good. Those are good. Yeah. Um. But I'm I'm saving the wall spot upstairs because I got only fit four. I'm gonna put a sap up there and maybe I'll put that All Star one up there. Or that the All Star one's pretty cool. Yeah, the All Star one's cool, but I like it. I like having it down here. So long, Shaq anyway. Barrett. Uh, how about this? Shane Gillis has struck a deal for his first scripted series, a Netflix workplace comedy set in an auto repair shop. This is uh, they ordered six episodes of Tires, which is based on a pilot concept that Gillis had previously posted on YouTube with Gillian Keeves, which is I watched really a couple of those. which is really funny. Hey, yeah. so uh, let me just tell you what that show is about. You ready? Hey, what do you got, Subaru? What are you gay? <laughs> 
Hey, uh, what is your kid retarded? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Uh-huh. And the uh, sketch guys, the guys that you have, the one like nervous guy that he has is in charge of it because his father owns it and stuff. And a girl comes in and she's like flirting with him because he can g- obviously get her a deal, or whatever. Right, right. And Chains over and he's like, "Dude, she doesn't like you. She just wants free time." <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. It's it's. A They're good very Gillian Keeves is very funny. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, boy, I I thought the Shane Gillis. Saturday Night Live was okay. It was good. It was good to see yeah. him. I was happy for him. I thought it was okay. And uh, B- Fox News is running with it like he is <laughs> saving Saturday Night Live. Finally, Saturday Night Live was funny yeah, one week. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, oh, relax. Yeah. Uh, by the way, they pulled the uh, emu uh, skit off of the oh. regular thing. Whatever You can find it online. I got it. Yeah. But whenever they replay it, it's not in there. Oh, really? I yeah. wonder why. Um, to me, that was, that was the one that made me laugh the most. Yeah, they said one of the funniest skits they pulled <laughs> yeah. from the thing. I don't know why. Oh, but... I like the one in church. <clears throat> Yeah, that, that was, was great. Funny. And yeah. he does the accent. He can, he can barely hold it together. <laughs> Me be listening to the preacher. Yeah. <laughs> when the emu pats him on the cheek, he says, yeah. good boy. That's so great. Uh, out of this, there is a hardcore band out of Tennessee called Lorona. And on Sunday, they announced that they would be part- parting ways with their singer, Diego, because he did something pretty messed up to another bandmate who goes by the name Six. Diego wanted to steal Six's fiance Caroline. So what did he start doing? He started dosing Six with estrogen. <gasps> what? Oh, to wow. make a little bitch? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> What's that kind of? Uh, I said to make a little yeah. bitch. <laughs> little bitch. <laughs> Apparently, Diego has some kind of job in the fitness supplement industry, uh, and he was providing Six with pre-workout formulas, but he was secretly loading oh. up, loading him up with like estrogen. Meat girls. Oh yeah. man. Uh, the band says Diego was, quote, attempting to force a transition onto him for the last five months and hope that he would get it would give him the opportunity to swoop in once he looked stronger and wow. more manly in comparison. Oh. Yo, what's up? I see you, man. has got some titties. Oh. Yeah. Uh, all it did uh, was cost six thousands of dollars in medical bills as he uh, tried to out what was wrong with him, why uh. he was crying in the shower all the time. <laughs> I get totally get boobies. Uh, yeah. Now that he does know, he still has to see an uh, endocrinologist uh, for several months to see if his hormone levels can get back to normal. Wow. Oops. Yeah. That's uh, a pretty good move. Dead. Did he get the girl? Uh, apparently not. Oh, yeah, that's too bad. He's going to get prison time. There is yeah. uh, what the, uh, that's the dude. I'd rather find out you're poisoning to kill me. That's Diego, <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, wow. Wow, man. Where's, hey, where's Gio? He's crying in the hallway again. <laughs> When was the last time you talked to Taylor Swift's dad? Um, probably about a month ago. You may want to check in on him. Yeah, uh, I did. I did check on uh, him. Taylor Swift's dad is under investigation for allegedly attacking a paparazzi in Australia. Okay. Allegedly. Can I just tell you, though, one of the one of the nicest, most level-headed, calm guys you'll ever meet. I blame the paparazzi. Yeah. Well, I think yeah. Yeah. in 99% of the cases, you blame the paparazzi. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how about this? Uh, the uh, character Mr. Bean, Rowan Atkinson, I love Mr. Bean, uh, was almost called something else. I will tell Mr. you. Mr. Weed. It was Mr. Something. Mr. Weed? No. Uh, Mr. Doodles? No. Mr. Belts? No. Mr. Pork? Pork and beans? No. <laughs> Mr. Piccadilly? Frank. No. Mr. Mr. Bean? John. Something different from Bean? Another food? Yes. Mr. Donuts? Mr. No. Pickles? No. Well, that would have been good, though. Yeah, I don't know. Mr. Cucumber? Mr. Refried oh, beans. Closer. Is it carrots? You're getting Mr. closer. Pickles. Oh. Oh. Mr. Tomato. May I introduce to you, Mr. Broccoli? <laughs> oh, you're so close. Oh. Cauliflower? Cauliflower. Oh. Cauliflower. Oh. What? what? Yeah, Mr. Bean was almost called Mr. Cauliflower. That'd be horrible. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Bean's so much better. Yeah, right. <laughs> Once you know, and the uh, one syllable I think works better, Mr. Bean. Yeah, Mr. Cauliflower. I was dating a girl years and years ago. If you say she looked like Rowan Atkinson, I'm going to flip this desk over. <laughs> She uh, had a roommate who was an Asian girl who was adorable. And she goes, hey, my roommate's going to go out to the to get a movie and we'll watch a movie. because It was like raining outside. I said, okay, cool. And she came back and she goes, I'm so excited. Look what I got. She pulled it out. It was Mr. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend was like, what is this? And she goes, it's Mr. Bean. And I go, oh, I know Mr. Bean. She goes, it's green. And I go, it's like, yeah. kind of funny. And we were all just sitting there watching Mr. Bean. Hell yeah. Not even high. Uh, oh, did you wow. ever watch uh, Black Adder? Yes. I don't remember what it is, but I know the name. It was back, set back in the like medieval times or whatever. And it was uh, Rowan Atkinson. He was Black Adder. And uh, it was funny. It was funny. 
show. I thought Mr. Bean was great, just the facial expression. Oh, the, yeah. He was, so, he was so good at that. Do you ever see, and don't please don't send it to me. I've seen it a million times, whatever. Do you ever see him uh, do his uh, miming of playing a drum set? Yes, yeah. Where yeah. he walks and he, like, kicks his sticks and yeah. realizes and then gets up there. <laughs> and nothing there, whatever, but he does it to a track and does, it's so perfect. Very cool. It's really good. You should send it to Galvin. Yeah. yeah. A lot. Send, it to me, uh, send it to me a lot. Uh, and then send me the uh, drummer at the wrong gig. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, on Ranker.com, finally news. People Wait, can, are, I, can I just tell you one more thing? Mm-hmm. The, the best, we always complain about people sending us no. reels and stuff. It has not slowed down at all since <laughs> yeah. we complained about it. It's yeah. gotten but worse. My favorite is people send us things that we're talking about. I love it. I, I know. We're talking about it. I we just it. said we saw it, and then you still send it. <laughs> Hilarious. By the way, I put up again the other day because I came across it, and it's so funny that I wanted to put up again. I was waiting for people to be like, you already put this up, or I've seen this, whatever, is that uh, the long-haired dude that's in jail, and they, dun, 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 yeah, dun, yeah, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> but somebody put me explaining a riff, a new riff to the band, whatever. <laughs> so funny. Uh, I don't know if you want to take a break on this and come back, but I have the uh, uh, ranker.com. Uh, people voted on the funniest TV shows yes, of yes, all Yes, yes, so let's take time. a break. Take a break. All right, so think about the funniest TV shows of all time. I have the top 20, so of all time, back from, you know, when TV started till now. Okay. Uh, streamers, any stuff, whatever, cartoons, sitcoms, all together. Think about it. I have the top 20 coming up next. All right, and also, um, Dom is going to join us at 9 o'clock, and then I'm thinking tomorrow, on Wednesday, maybe we do Under Oath. Spanish running around St. Pete with no shoes mm-hmm. on. Uh, we got things to talk about. I mean, Carmen clearly feeling underappreciated. Mm. Uh, there are things, and I put it up on our Instagram yesterday a, a little scene from a courtroom and said, if you have some questions, feel free to leave it here. And there's some good ones up there so far. You, so, we'll have you realize you said, yeah. if you don't have questions, <laughs> yeah. post don't, them below. Don't expect <laughs> me. Don't expect me to type anything correctly. No. Every time yeah. I look at a post yeah. from me, I just go, oh, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a combination of having uh, no glasses and I need glasses and fat thumbs. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Is, it, is it time for under oath? Don't have questions? questions. <laughs> do, do you have any questions? Uh, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. <laughs> what an idiot. Uh, okay, we'll do, the, uh, we'll do that when we come back. Well, we'll do the, uh, the list with Galvin when we come back, and then we'll do the uh, under oath tomorrow. And we do have tickets to give away for Burt Kreischer at the Mahaffey Theater, and I'm going to tell you how we're going to give those away. And it's in a fun way, and you're going to like it, I think, if you're a girl, maybe not. It's the Mike Calta Show. This is 102.5 The Bone. And tell me you heard about it on the Mike Calta Show. All right, Galvin, back over to you. Uh, all right, so Ranker.com said that uh, they put this up. People are voting on the funniest TV shows of all time, including sitcoms, cartoons, sketch series, any of that stuff. I have the top 20 from their list on Ranker.com. So what do you think? When you think of a funny show, what immediately pops to mind? Well... I mean, I, I Seinfeld. Seinfeld, it comes in at number 13. Okay. Number 13 on the top 20. Funniest of all time. The Honeymooners. Off- oh. I'm sorry. Uh, what? Honeymooners. Honeymooners. Let's see. Honeymooners. Uh, surprisingly, no, not on the uh, oh. not on the top 20. I heard somebody else. Theo, did you say? <sighs> 20. The Office. Number one. Really? The Office. Yeah. Funniest Number show one. of all time. Of all time, according to Ranker.com. I don't know if I agree with that. Yeah. I think it's very funny. The American yeah. version? Or I the, think it's very I funny. Uh, it doesn't uh, differentiate, but probably the American version. The Office has got a good rewatch factor. You yeah. can watch it over oh, and over. Oh, certainly, yeah. That doesn't make it the funniest. Nah. Yeah. Friends. But it's also rewatch. You find other things that you've yeah. missed. You know, sure. the reaction, this person, whatever, doing. Uh, Spanish, you said Friends. Uh, Friends is not in the top 20. It's wow. always sunny. What? It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah. Number two. Wow. Comes in at number a two. Funny show. It Modern is a family? very funny show. Modern Family, Carmen, comes in at number nine. That's good. How about All in the Family? N- to this day, the funniest thing was my brother Tim kept on telling us to watch Modern Family, and Mike and I refused because that's when American Idol was on, uh-huh. and Danny Noriega was on, and we could not we're miss. Not our, <laughs> we're not changing our girl. We could not miss it. And then later on, once I watched it, I go, "Oh, you're right. This is a very, very funny show." Yeah. Uh, what else was said? All in the family. All in the family is not in the top twenty. Oof. Do cartoons count? Like Simpsons? Cartoons do count. I said it four times at the beginning of oh, this. Sorry. Uh, sitcom, <laughs> sitcoms, cartoons, uh, sketch series, any of that okay. stuff is all involved. Funniest shows of all time. Simpsons and Family Guy. Uh, the Simpsons comes in at number six. 
Archer. Bam- Hold on. All right. Yes. Family Guy uh, comes in at number 11. Archer, shut up. <laughs> I was like, give me another one. <laughs> He's Archer. Rick and Morty? No, but another one that I always say you like is South on there. South Park. South Park is on there. South Park comes in at number five, beating out The Simpsons. How do you like that? Wow. Uh, I think South Park is funnier than The Simpsons. I do, too, but yeah. I feel like everybody loves The Simpsons more just because it's been on longer. But South, South Park, Park is like, it, it, it bugs me to watch. Like, really? I see South Park, yeah, I'm like, how is this still a thing? How is it still on? Then I watch it and I start laughing. It's at all. hilarious. Like, oh, it's yeah. You laughed at Archer, too. There was no, 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 no. Archer's there. funny. Okay, I just right. knew it wouldn't be on this yeah. list. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. uh, number 20, <laughs> by the way, is uh, Futurama. Oh, I do oh, like Futurama. Really? Yeah, I never liked that show. Yeah, yeah. terrible. Oh, I thought it was go. terrible. I know. <laughs> uh, what are some other funny shows? Funniest shows of all time, according to Ranker.com. We got the top 20. Uh, GR already hit number one with The Office. Number two is It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I know. They didn't have All in the Family on there. It's kind of hard to... Oh, wow. You got number five and six, South Park and Simpsons. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, not in the top 20. Raymond? Everybody loves Raymond. No. Good. King of Queens. King Queens, no, which, by the way, is one of the yeah. most consistently funny I shows. I agree. Roseanne. No. Oh. Hmm. Um, Family Matters. No. Home Improvement. Home Improvement uh? comes in at number 19. Really? <laughs> that was wow. really good. That show is awful. Oh, comes in number 19. Was Home Improvement yeah. was awful. At the that time, was it was a great good. show. Yeah. It was a good show. Oh, at the you time 90s kids. It yeah. doesn't hold up, but yeah. it was good at the time. Married I watched it at the time. It was awful. I loved it. Uh, Married with Children <laughs> comes in at number 10. That yeah, was great. That was comes good. in at number 10. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Did you hear Carmen do it? It's no, that was Heather and Dog was getting molested. Oh, my God. Do it, Carmen. Do it. <laughs> I don't know why it's adorable. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, I know. I know. I just, uh, I, I remember those stupid kids and the neighbor. Mm-hmm. You only saw you the top of his head or the bottom of his face. Yeah, huh? you never saw the whole thing. Halitosis, mm-hmm. they said. Or, and then uh, it just never was funny. It was always predictable. Oh, and it was great. Awful. What about the Golden Girls? Ooh. No. Three's company. Show. Very funny. No. A coming, duck, duck, duck. <laughs> I love Lucy. I hate Lucy. Yeah, I'm same. <laughs> Listen, Lucy. I love Lucy's great. It, not only was it great, but it it's one of those things where it was groundbreaking. If yeah, it wasn't, it. Uh, you know, you had a Cuban guy on TV. You had a woman who was the lead. You had a mm-hmm. guy threatening to beat up his wife upstairs. Yeah. That was some good. That was a funny show. Except you know now it wouldn't fly. Uh, Although every show has copied it since. He was, yeah. and that was the first show to do the three camera I shoot. Yeah. Joe was gonna bring it up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Something that I love about I Love Lucy is if you pay close attention, you can watch the characters just walk like right off screen, but you can still see them mm-hmm. and. Always, as soon as they get off camera, they light up a heater, and they're just Bro. like, yeah. oh, sucking Fred it Mertz down, would, He'd light up a cigarette and then punch Ethel yeah. right in the face. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Not God. Not only were they the first camera, uh, three-camera shoot, but they also did something. They have some sort of patent on the sound. Like oh, it yeah. was delivered in uh, yeah. Dolby Stereo or something, but they owned the patent on it, and they had so that they made so much money because of that. the band. That was um, Desi Arnaz's idea because uh, yeah. they yeah. had that live band. Uh, you were saying about you can see them walk off camera and they stand to the side, whatever. I always liked on the honeymooners whenever he'd come in, Jackie Gleason, he'd shut the door and the screen would shake. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it wasn't wall, like yeah. a real wall; it was just a screen, <laughs> and it would like shake. Yeah. Uh, think of some sketch shows. Oh, Saturday Night Live. No. Probably on oh, thank God. Uh, in Living Color. No. Really? Mad TV. No. Kids in the Hall. No. Fridays. No. What? Keelan Keel or Keelan Peel. No, but that Keel. should be. That should be. If those yeah. two adopting a baby, being mm-hmm. gay and adopting a baby, may be one of the funniest scenes. The Chappelle we Show. Getting a baby. Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chappelle Show comes at number 18. Yeah, that was a good show. Uh, how many we have left? Uh, quite a few, actually. I can give you some if you want me to. There was this one show where they were trapped on an island. There was a fat guy. <laughs> guy mm-hmm. get him. Is uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air in there? No. Thank God. Number 17, and you're going to go, what? But if you go back and you watch this show, there was a lot of funny stuff in this. Malcolm in the Middle. Oh, oh yeah. no, I love that. Yeah. 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 Malcolm in the Middle was, was very great. Right. Yeah. Uh, number 16, one of the great ones you have not watched. We keep on telling you you should watch it because it's great. Arrested Development. Oh, I will watch Arrested it Development is, and in the Wire. It's so good. Arrested Development's hilarious. Malcolm in the Middle was the one. Which is the one with Brick? That's the middle. That's, yes, the, that's middle. the middle. Yeah. No, yeah. Malcolm in the Middle was great. It's yeah. a shame that the father never went on to anything. He I was know. Really yeah. Good, he was so hey, good. He shout out to Drew. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> number fifteen. 
His name is not Mr. Cauliflower. <laughs> Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean yeah. comes in at number 15. Oh, I'm sorry. Fresh Prince is on there. Number 14. What? Yeah, you skipped over it. I didn't it. think sorry. it was that funny. Uh, number 13 is Seinfeld. Uh, All the family is not on there, but the Fresh Prince of Bel Air yeah. is on there. It's ranker.com. Doesn't yeah. make it, you know. Writer. God's I'm mad word. at you personally, Calvin. Uh Number 12 is a cartoon. Number 12 is a cartoon, and it's been on forever. King of the Hill? No. King of the Hill was great. Man, I used to watch King of the Hill all the time. That was great. It was funny. Uh, oh, Beavis about it. No, I don't even think there there was occasionally dialogue. Hardly ever, though. Really? Di- no dialogue cartoon. Tom and Jerry? Tom and Jerry. Oh, yeah. Tom and Jerry, number 12. Number 11. Tom and Jerry was funny. Yeah. Number 11, Family Guy. Number 10, Married with Children we got. Number 9, Modern Family. Number 8. Number 8. After season, beginning of season three, got great. First two seasons, you were like, I don't know whether this is going to work. And then it became hilarious and was really, really good. Number eight is, is, anybody? Anybody? Mm. No. Season three was the introduction of Rob Lowe and Adam Scott. Parks and Rec. Yeah. Uh, Parks and Recreation. (laughs) Parks and Rec. Yeah, I bailed out on season two. Never went back. Parks and Rec is good. Uh. Number seven is one of those shows where you went, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you watch it for a little while, and you're like, all right, Jesus Christ. Uh, it was There was some funny parts, I will tell you that. Whose line is it anyway? I loved that. Yeah. I was a kid. I, was a I kid. love that show. Me too. The I wish they would bring it back. Anyway, it was the English one. The one, the original one that they had with Clive, whatever his face was with the host. And yeah. then they had half American, half yeah, English guys. That was, really that was the fun. I never saw that one. Uh, I only saw the one with Drew Carey. Yeah. Because for every little nugget of funny, there was the rest of the time you're just like, all right, get to something. It was Ryan Stiles, Colin Mockery. And Greg then they, Proops. Yeah, Greg Proops. And then they would have like English people on there and they would rotate them out and the, the uh, host was great. And then Drew Carey appeared on that show a couple right. of times and then he took it over and put it on here. But the original ones, I got to tell you, I have missed so many classes going to school because I'd start watching that, and then I'd be like, this is way <laughs> so funnier funny. than anything I'm going to learn in school. <laughs> uh, the Simpsons comes in number six. Number five is South Park. Uh, jumping over uh, four and three, we have not gotten. Uh, number two is It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and The Office is number one. So what's number uh, three, and th- four? three and four? They're not uh, the cartoons? funniest shows of all time. One is a cartoon. One is a Sitcom. What is a cartoon? We've named every cartoon already. Yeah. Bugs Bunny? Bob's Burgers. Well, it's Looney, Looney Tunes. Tunes. Oh, yeah. okay. So Looney Tunes I give it encompasses that. all of that. Bugs uh, number funny. four. Yeah. Number four is a very funny show, which I will tell you right now, I was against the star of this, and then John Brennan changed my mind. The star of this show, I was like, nope. Not going to have it at all. Not going to have it. And John said, trust me, watch it. You'll like it. The Mick. And it totally turned me. No, I love. No. <laughs> Any guesses? No, but I want to mm. punch Ben as we're saying The Mick. <laughs> have you watched it? Yeah, it's hilarious. It's the best. But he's yeah. not going to be on a Smart list Jack. of the funniest shows of all time. You don't time. know. It's, okay. it's oh, Ranker. I hate you. You're real Number I love, four. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> Brooklyn Nine Nine. Oh yeah, oh, that's Andy so good. Yeah. Andy I, was, I was an early two on that. Yeah. Andy Samberg, when he came on, I go, "You're trying to be Adam Sandler. You yeah. even have your uh, name is similar to him, and you're doing this. Stop it! You're ridiculous." That show is hilarious. It is, and he's really funny. Yeah. The Chief is my favorite part of that show. He's great. He died. I know. Yeah. I know. He died. But you know why? He's gay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is that why? Yeah. Oh, really? Blood that? clots. Yeah. Blood clots. Oh really? That's I what I was reading. Steroids. No, no, he wasn't that big. That's Terry Crews. Yeah, no, but he's pretty big. I know the difference between black people. Thank oh. Very much. Because I had one racist that conversation not, with an old man. That is right. not what I That's meant. That's exactly what you that said. That is not what I meant. That's exactly what that I meant. is not what I meant. Uh, well, there you go. Ranker.com. They say the funniest show of all time is The Office. Yeah. All right. That's fair. I can't believe Friends It is fair. I, I, but if The Office was followed by other funny shows, but what were the top five? The Office, yeah. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Which is, I, I agree, one of the funniest shows ever. I can't believe that they listed it there. Number three is Looney Tunes. Number four, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And number five is South Park. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with that order, but, uh, you know, there are this funny I would, shows. I would uh, expect Office to be top five on any type yeah, of list. I, w- I, w- I would put Seinfeld up in the top five for sure. And I would put one in the top five that I don't know whether... Anybody else is going to agree? I think Mike will agree. 
Get a life with Chris Elliott. That <laughs> was great. Get a life. I don't know that I put it in the top five, but it was funny. <laughs> that was one yeah. of my favorite shows ever. That was so good. I Curb is pretty good. I can't believe that. Was yeah, I didn't even make the top twenty. Yeah. I got to tell you, Curb was great. Curb really dropped off. See, I, I started watching it yeah. over again with Mariah, yeah. and I got to oh. tell you, you guys talked about Funkhauser. He's First so funny. So oh, great. he's the best. He's so funny, dude. Funkhauser when they have the Seinfeld reunion <laughs> thing, and he tells the joke to Jerry. About the thing in the same. Oh my God, it's that maybe one Jerry. I don't even think Jerry knew yeah. what was coming. And he totally broke. Yeah. It was great. I saw a clip yesterday that showed. It was just a picture on the internet that showed Kramer and Larry David from Fridays. Oh yeah. So I went back and watched some of that Fridays. Larry had the Larry had the yeah. 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 Not funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, it was the scenes that I watched weren't that funny, yeah. but also it's you know forty years old. Uh, you know who Funkhauer is, right? I don't know who that is. So that, Super Dave? Super Dave Osborne. I don't know what that is. Which is, you know, uh, Albert Brooks? Yes. That's his brother. Albert Brooks, not Mel Brooks. Albert Brooks. Yeah, he's hilarious. Who is actually Albert Einstein that's is his, his name. name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he changed his last name to Brooks. Uh, but that's his brother, Bob, who is Super Dave Osborne, who is the worst. Uh, <laughs> uh, stunt uh, you guy. say stunt worst. Guy. I yeah. say amazing. Right. <laughs> yeah. But so funny. Like the funniest things, whatever. Yeah. But he's been around forever. Yeah. So he's, he's great. hilarious. I yeah. thought he was a baseball player for some reason. No, no. no. He, uh, he looks he, like Tom Seaver. Yeah. yeah. Right. I don't know why, but he did in that show. His dry delivery of stuff is so. <laughs> the way he talks like this. <laughs> he's always like dude. yelling. And yeah. it's, ah, you can't be doing that. Uh, by the way, dead. He died. Oh, oh did he yeah. really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. He died last year, I think it was, Damn. or maybe the year before. I'm telling you, Albert Brooks has made some famous movies, and he is very funny, but yes. nothing is funnier to me than him in This Is 40. Oh, and he's dude. outside, come on, kids, breathe in that jet fuel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who wants to play murder? Yeah. Here we go, we're playing murder. <laughs> Albert Brooks is one of my all-time yes. favorites, and there's an HBO documentary on him uh, it. about Albert Brooks. It's great. Yeah. He is I, I think he's one of the funniest guys in the yeah. world. Yeah. That entire movie is so great. It yeah. really it's is. So, so good. good. It's so great. <laughs> uh Lost in America. Did you ever see that movie where they take their uh total savings? He goes to try and get a uh a raise at his job and they won't give him a raise so he says he's gonna quit. So then he tries to spin it to his wife that it's gonna be great. They'll take all their savings. They'll get a motorhome. They'll drive across America. All this stuff. By the way, I'm doing Albert yeah. Brooks as I'm doing it. So they go and they uh, they're going along and they get out. Finally, get on the road. They're gonna do it and they say goodbye to everyone. And they get in the motorhome. They start driving and bounce down. Born to be wild, playing and stuff. And this guy in a motorcycle comes up next to him and Albert Brooks beep beep and gives him the thumbs up. And the guy just goes. <laughs> him off. They go to a casino And uh, uh, Gary Marshall is the owner of the whole casino His wife uh, goes down and she's gambling He goes to bed, she's gambling And he comes down and he goes, what are you still doing down here? And she goes, I'm down a little bit And he goes, how much? And she goes, our entire life savings <laughs> So Albert Brooks tries to convince Gary Marshall It would be great marketing for them to give the money back You'll be the first casino that gave the money back You'll be all over every headline He goes, I don't think so It's a great, That's great awesome. movie yeah. Alright, we gotta take a break We got a lot of things to give away this morning on the show uh, I, I don't know when I'm supposed to tell you this, but uh, there is a new Burt Kreischer show that's been added to the Mahaffey Theater. They're going to announce that today at 10 o'clock. I accidentally <laughs> announced it at 6 o'clock, so it's out there now. And uh, I will have tickets to give away. I'll tell you how you can win those tickets as well. But we'll play a game when we come back. It's a Mike Calda show. Uh, we have a lot of things to give away, Carmen, don't we? We do. We do. We, we certainly do. do. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm going to tell you real quick before we play this game. Uh, we have tickets to give away for Burt Kreischer. Not right now. But uh, they just added a seventh show to uh, Bert's run here where he's filming his comedy special at the Mahaffey Theater. He's going to have seven shows of material to choose from. Uh, and who knows if they're going to add an eighth, ninth, tenth. You have no idea. Uh, but it is definitely happening July 3rd. And uh, tickets or information will come available to you at 10 o'clock. I don't know when tickets go on sale. I have them to give away. These tickets sell out immediately. I have a way that I want to give them away. I want people to, to do things Bert style. I want video of people running shirtless through places, guys, girls, and we got to be in public. I'm going to think of all the rules and just throwing this out there. Like, I want to see you in the mall running around shirtless, screaming Bert's name or something like that, and then send me the video, and we'll put them up on whichever video gets the most likes. That's the video. That's the person that will win the tickets. Don't do it to Charlie Belcher. No. Oh, no. God, leave Charlie alone. <laughs> will, you dummy. <laughs> 
No, no, no. I'm saying it, uh, it doesn't even have to. Uh, we're not, uh, not designed to bother anybody. No. It's just that uh, Bert's thing is taking his shirt off. So take your shirt off and go. You may just go get gas. And you may go into the, take your shirt off and walk into the gas station. And when you do, you do it that way. So, mm-hmm. uh, All right. We've got some stuff to give away. Let's do it right now. A little bit of Carmen Sense. Sure. The answer is obvious to everyone. But is it obvious to Carmen Let's find out. It's time to play Carmen Sense, only on the Mike Kelta Show. All right. All right. I am going to ask uh, Carmen a question. She's going to let me know when she has it locked in. You guys are going to tell me whether she's going to get it right or wrong. First uh, one to get the three is going to win a prize for somebody on the phones. I want to point out the only one on the show with a college degree. Yes, yeah, Carmen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she knows right. her stuff. Here we go, Carmen. Let me know when you have your answer locked in. Havana is the capital of what country? Havana is the capital of what? Done. All right. Carmen is locked in. Mike Kilta, will she get this right or wrong? Mike Kilta says Kilta. for sure she will know this. Yes, she will get it right. You say right. All right. Gia, what do you think? Right. Spanish? Right. Everybody thinks you're going to get it right, Carmen. What? Uh, Havana is the capital of what country? Cuba. Cuba is correct. Yay. Yay. Everybody a gets a point smarty pants. on that one. Very nice. Uh, next one, Carmen, what does the Roman numeral X stand for? Let me know when you're locked in. Roman numeral X stands for what? No Google. Done. <laughs> Joe, put the camera on her. I see uh, Gio, will she get this right or wrong? <laughs> wrong. You say wrong. Spanish? Right. Mike Kelta, what do you think? No way. Wrong. You say wrong. <laughs> All right. So Spanish says right. The rest of you guys say wrong. Carmen, what does the Roman numeral X stand for? Four. Ooh. <laughs> Plus six. It is <laughs> ten. No. It is ten. <laughs> Mike and Gio both get a point on that one. All right. Next question. Could have a winner right here. There you go. In Annie, what is the name of her dog? What is the name of Annie's dog? Let me know when you're locked in. Done. All right. Carmen is done. Spanish. She going to get this right or wrong? Wrong. You say wrong. GL? Right. And Mike Kelta? (sighs) Ironically wrong. Say wrong. All right. Carmen, in Annie, what is the name of her dog? Susie. No. <laughs> Susie is not wrong. Is not right. Ironically. She doesn't know what that means. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know. I thought it was a dead giveaway. Carmen? Yeah. The dog's name is Sandy. Oh, mm-hmm. no, no. Wow. <laughs> Mike cool. Kelton wins the game. Yay. Yay. Yeah. All right. Let me pick the By first the way, winner. Don't try and cheat like that. Ironically, <laughs> don't be giving any hints. Well, I was last. Uh, uh. <laughs> she, but she didn't answer. She locked it in. Well. Did she? Oh, well, that's her cheating. Uh, mm-hmm. Mike Kelt, the show, who is this? No integrity. <laughs> Hello. Did get it right? <laughs> Hello. Yes, what is your name, sir? Adam. Adam, you are the first winner. Please hold on, okay? Thank you. All right, thank you. There you go. Three in a row. Three up, three down. All okay. right. Down. <clears throat> Carmen, you ready? Body. Round two? Here we go. Where in the United States is the original Coca-Cola factory located? Done. Spanish give me googly eyes over here. Mm. Uh, Mike Kelty, you won the last round. Let's go with you first. <laughs> Will she get this right or wrong? Wrong. You say wrong. Spanish? <laughs> wrong. <laughs> wrong. And Gia, what do you think? Wrong. Yeah? I got a banana. So, all right. I know. Uh, Carmen, <laughs> where in the United States is the original Coca Cola factory located? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is wrong. <laughs> Everybody Carmen, gets a point. You're thinking of Hershey. Uh, I have no idea either. I looked at Galvin so perplexed when he asked you that question. I uh, guess. Yeah. Atlanta. Yeah. Atlanta. yeah. No. I, have no I thought idea. that was common knowledge. Right? <laughs> <No>. right. <laughs> we are. Oh, <laughs> what's the deal with hey. the What's the deal? <laughs> Carmen. In what year was the (laughs) Declaration of Independence created? Done. Carmen's done. Gio, will she get this right or wrong? Wrong. Mike Kelta, right or wrong? Wrong. And Spanish, right? Right. You say right. All right. Carmen, 
In what year was the Declaration of Independence created? 1776. Boom. Yeah. She gets it right. That's Spanish right. gets a point. Spanish gets a point. All right. Uh, I'm going to switch it around on you here, and I'm going to go. <sighs> Carmen, what were the four main characters' name in the TV series Golden Girls? Four character main characters, what were their names? Just they need the first names. Done. Carmen's done. Spanish, will she get this right or wrong? Wrong. Mike Kelta, right or wrong? Wrong. Gio, right or wrong? HD, wrong. <laughs> Carmen, what were the four main characters' name in the TV series Golden Girls? Rose, Ruth, Janet, and Bay. <laughs> 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 Helen, Gertrude, Sandy. It's Rose, Sophia, Blanche, and Dorothy. Oh, yes. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I've never seen never seen an episode. Oh, oh you'd so you'd love it. You would love it. Mm. Yeah, it's funny. Does. And mm. Spanish just won the game. Yeah. What? Oh, wait a oh, second. Like that. That's, That's right. right. That's line three, please. Uh, no, I don't want to give you a line. <laughs> oh, three. line. Pick another line. Uh, line thirteen. Uh, <laughs> line six. No, I'm picking a different line. Oh, Good morning. Who's this? <laughs> Hello, it's Randy. <sighs> Hi, Randy. <laughs> what? You got that. Hello? Like, you got that. I answered the phone like a hot girl would. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Randy. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. What are you guys doing? It's me, Randy. <laughs> uh, Randy, you are the big winner. I, for some reason, I feel like talking to like the rest yeah, of the show. Like, like, Mike, yeah. who did you pick the first? Uh, line three. Your pick was like, okay. Yeah, oh. and this is Randy. I was caught off guard. I was no, caught off guard. I like it. I like it. It was hot. It made I, you feel like, hot. I feel like she just finished doing something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was in the middle of something. <laughs> I feel like she just brushed her hair, shook it out, and then asked about, hello, it's me, Randy. <laughs> Uh, Definitely. You are a winner by proxy, so thank please you. hold on, and Carmen will get you all taken care of. We'll hook you up with something cool, okay? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Hold yeah. on. Eh? <laughs> uh, would you guys like she to play another round? <laughs> Mike won one. Spanish won one. Time is it? Gio won someone. Oh, yeah. Can win one. 8.57. Yeah, let's do one more. One more round. All right, Carmen, you ready for this? Yep. Here we go. Ready. <laughs> what geometric shape is generally used for stop signs? Done. Carmen's locked in. Geo, will she get this right or wrong? Right. Spanish? Right. Like Kelta. You'd have to be a real idiot to get this wrong. <laughs> Whoa. I say right. Oh, I thought you were going to say wrong. Uh, Carmen, what geometric shape is generally used to for uh, stop signs? Octagon. Octagon. Yeah, that's no idiot. That's no yeah. idiot. That's a college graduate that's right. right there. Uh, Carmen, what is the common name for dried plums? Done. Carmen's done. Spanish. Will she get right or wrong? Right. Mike Helta, right or wrong? Testicles, right? <laughs> no. No. Mike yes, Helta, she right. gets it right. You say right. Geo, right or wrong? In the plums. She gets it right. <laughs> Carmen. <laughs> what is the uh, common name for dried plums? Prunes. Prunes is correct. Yeah. Oh, kick them in the old yeah. prunes. <laughs> All right. Let's make it a little more difficult for you here. Go. He just took it from... He just took it from stupid baby to <laughs> first grade. Mm. Carmen, uh, which is the only American football team to go a whole season undefeated, including the Super Bowl? Yeah. Done. Carmen's locked in. Mike Kelta, will she get this right or you wrong? You do not put football past my girl, Carmen. Carmen gets this right. You say right. Gio, what do you think? Wrong. You say wrong. Spanish? Right. Could have a winner right here. Everybody's tied with two. Carmen, what is the only American football team to go a whole season undefeated, including the Super Bowl? The Patriots? Oh, oh Marino! Yeah. Yeah. Gio oh, yeah. wins the game! Damn it! Hey, Brady! Damn yeah. it! Come on now. It was oh. the 1972 Miami yeah. Dolphins. 72? Yeah. How would I know? This is the only team ever, ever. to go undefeated. Everybody the knows only that. only team ever. That's right. Everybody <laughs> knows it. Marino. Not, Marino. not true. Yes. Marino wasn't even on the team. Miami <laughs> Dolphins number one. Uh, their, uh, their mascot was Sandy, the uh, <laughs> dog. <Yeah. laughs> uh, like? Damn it. All well, right. Mike won. Spanish won. Gio yeah. won. Gio, pick a line. Line one. All right. Uh, hold on here. Good morning. Who's this? That was Bill. 
Hey, Bill, hold on. You uh, win, okay? We'll give you a hook up and a prize. Thank you very much. All right, Bill. Man, you know, <laughs> see how yeah. happy Bill is. I feel, Bill, like, I, was, I, I feel like Bill was just brushing his hair. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Randy, Randy, Randy. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. It is time for us to bring uh, Ask the Dom in the studio. If you got a question for him, you want to get on hold right now, we got some lines open, 727-579-1025 or 800-771-1025. Dom, how are you doing, buddy? I'm, I'm great. Good morning, Mike. Good. What's going on, man? Nothing much. Just uh, doing what I do. Got a little court this afternoon and hanging with Carmen right now. I got to tell you, it's been a good run for uh, jinxing it right now. I was going to say, good run. You haven't had to represent anybody on the show in a <laughs> while. And I, just, I don't know why I would even <laughs> say that. What, what, is jinx. what is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Nobody, know, right. nobody we know committed murder. Uh, yeah. uh, no. <laughs> Mark it a win. My bad. Uh, but if you do have a question for Dom, please get on the phone line now, and we will take them here in a second. What do you got, court today, and you got the show tomorrow? Uh, show tomorrow, uh, court this afternoon, got some DUI hearings. I've got uh, Dom's uh, baseball game tomorrow, but I'll be coming in around 9. The Singas are going to guest host the show for the first hour, so David and Shafia will be in studio. Uh, How many so- hours is that show? Uh, well, we, we kind of take over Cat Name Mo's show in the back end, and then we kind of take over the front end of Johnny B. And then sometimes we just go right to midnight, and I tell Johnny B to take the night off. And then sometimes I tell Cat not to come in. The show is now about six to eight hours. On Jeez. <laughs> I like it. Take over. Do what you got to do. Now, a lot of people getting in trouble. A lot of folks in accidents. Mike, it's it's hey. yeoman's work. Mike, it's it's what I do. Do what you got to do. Let's grab these phone calls. Let's go to Chris. Chris, good morning. I want to ask the Don what he got, Chris. And um, so I, I was at the gym. I backed into a spot. I was up against the curb on the left side, the right side. Uh, another car parked, uh, parked next to me, white SUV, small SUV. I was in the gym. I came outside. Car was gone. It kissed my front bumper, damaged it, and so I reported it. <clears throat> they did a uh, police report. FHP did, and this was in August. I've heard back a little bit here and there. I've emailed. I've called. They said, just wait, We're waiting on evidence. And I've seen the evidence from the gym. There's cameras. They have the member's name and ID. But I have heard nothing still. Well, yeah, I know, you know what I would do, though? I'd ask, the, I'd give some, somebody a 50 bucks, get the guy's name and number, and just beat the crap out of him. So, so, That's what I want to do. So yeah. the issue here is obviously it's a property damage matter. Have you gone through your insurance to get it fixed, or you're waiting to try to go through the insurance of the other car? I'm waiting for the other guy's information so I can go to that. Yeah, but how do you know who's driving the other car? The gym has the, the – because you have to log into the gym every time you go in, they know who it is. If yep. an accident seems odd. You well, know, that's, it is what, odd. what street is it on? State Road 54. Yeah, I found out if it's on a state road, you, it has to be FHP. Yeah, but it, this was in a parking lot, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, but if it's on – Listen to me, usually, I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, I mean, I, I, parking lots, the thing with law enforcement and parking lot, parking lot's a private you know, area. You know, that's usually the the area that's owned by the business or what right. have you. Uh, even if it's on or adjacent to a state road or county road. Um, you know, so, I mean, at this, at this point in time, you know, I, I think the argument's going to be, you know, just continue to communicate with law enforcement. I mean, you can go ahead. You can make a claim for your insurance, and they can well, separate. I mean, what is hold? What is the hold of it? They got the guy's name and uh, and his information and the backup from the club. Why are they taking so long to process that? Well, exactly. <laughs> how long ago was this? August. I have no answer for you. I mean that 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 doesn't make any sense unless they can't determine. They, unless they can't determine who, who drove the car. I mean, if you have multiple people that, you know, were in the car, and just because someone scanned and checked in, I mean, you know, you know who, who's driving? You know, yeah, how, uh, how much damage are we talking about here? At least, I mean, it would be my, my deductible for sure. It's, I mean, it's drivable. It's just a blemish, really. It's a dent in paint, but two, two panels of paint, you know, with today's labor. Um, but with that said, like, the, the way they show it, they show the guy parking. You in have the video. The, you have the tag and in the car? They, no. Oh, I see. All right, because if you have the tag, you can just look that up through the DMV. Private investigator can do that, and then we can. Um, you can just send a demand letter to them. 
Right. Um, but yeah, I, I have. I mean, this is. I mean, yeah, March is around the corner. March is Friday, so I have no idea why this is lasting so long. Uh, I think that you're probably just spinning your wheels. I mean, if it hasn't happened now, it's not happening. More likely right. than not. I just go through your own insurance. It's you know, it's not that a deductible isn't that big of a deal. It's going to cost you more money to be litigious to hire somebody to chase after them that it's going to spend you more than the actual inherent value is to repair the car. I don't want to just tell you anybody to wave the white flag, but you have to look at it from a practical standpoint legally. So you know, take your anger out on that kid. <laughs> <laughs> he's excited. We're going to SeaWorld. So oh, excited. okay. Uh, no, I was just hoping that, that we'd get something from SHP saying that he was liable, and then I could go to my insurance or his insurance with it. And then go from there, but it doesn't sound like that's an option. Well, I don't think FHPs would make that determination. I mean, if you can't get the video surveillance, which is the evidence, I mean, that's, that's, you know, I mean, and they lot, have it. Well, l- listen, all I can tell you is, you know, short of hiring a lawyer, which I can give you one at your own additional expense to, you know, subpoena the right. records from the gym. And then to subpoena law enforcement, it's going to cost you a hell of a lot more than your deductible. Right. You know, and if you spend that money and you want to give it to a lawyer, uh, fine. That's, no, uh, listen, listen to saying to you, practical application of the law. The law is not perfect. I don't necessarily like the advice I have to give in certain calls, but it's the best advice for the caller. You can hire a lawyer. It's going to cost you more money. I just don't think it's economically feasible for you with this fact pattern and scenario. It just doesn't seem practical. It's, it's, it's not logical for you. That's why people turn to violence, sir. You're getting screwed. I'm telling you right now. I would just wait until that guy goes back to the gym and smash him over the head with a 30-pound weight. Well, now he's going to need to hire me for a criminal charge. <laughs> I'll call somebody. you for a different call. <laughs> I mean, yeah. look, it'll make you feel a lot better, and uh, you and the kid yeah. will enjoy the day at SeaWorld. So go have a good time, my man. <laughs> All right, thanks, Mike. Thanks, Bob. He's he's getting screwed. They got the information. They got the. It's got it on video. He's just getting dicked around. Uh, Let's go to uh, Angel. Good morning, Angel. You're on the Mike Calta show. What's up? Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, Just had a question about firearms and buying and trading uh, with, say, a friend. Um, I've heard of you, Mike, buying a firearm for somebody. Yep. Um. So how, say I bought a gun from you, um, go about that uh, the legal way, or like, what's the process on that? Well, for the record, I've never I've never sold anybody a firearm. I have bought them as gifts, and I will tell you, uh, from okay. uh, I've gotten advice from my attorney, Dominic Octavius Ferry. Uh, when you uh, when, when I've given a, a, a firearm to somebody, a father or my brother or somebody like that. I had them sign a, uh, a receipt saying they are receiving the firearm as a gift with the number on it and all that. This way, if that person ever goes out like a lunatic, shoots everybody up, and they go back and the gun comes to me, I have a paper signed by them and says, hey, look, this was a gift, and they have it. So, Which I think I've only done to two people. Like a, like a bill of sale? Yeah, not so much a bill of sale, but just a, a receipt saying, I, I uh, Galvin, accept this gun from Mike Calta as a gift, serial number, whatever, model number on the gun on this day, whatever, and then he, they sign it and I sign it. So at least it's something that I could present to the police and say, hey, it wasn't me, I gave it to this guy, and he has it right here. Yes, okay. All right, All right. well, that's, uh, that answers that. Now, hold on. Let's go over to lawyer because I don't know how legal that is. Yeah, well, <laughs> so that's what I do. Well, well what exactly? Well, I mean, do you are you trying to sell something? Are you trying to give it? Exactly no, 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 I'm, I'm just trying to uh, learn the legal way. Like, I'm that's me to the gun show to get my concealed permit even though they passed the law. I believe everybody still should go get the concealed permit and go to the class, you know, to get the a proper knowledge. Yeah. So now I'm also thinking if I bought a uh, a firearm from a friend of mine to say, um, what's the proper way to do it? I'm just trying to, uh, I guess, teach myself or learn, you know. He doesn't want to get in trouble, and he wants to be able to purchase it. It's exactly. a legal purchase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just doc, yeah, document the transaction. If it's a gift, then you got to put the serial number down of the weapon, the date of of the gift, uh, or if it's a purchase, then you know it's going to be a, a bill of sale or an invoice, and then you you document. Now, you know, if you okay. only have to, but I mean, if you're going to register it, I mean, not it may not be a bad idea to transfer ownership. I mean, if you want to do things, you know, by the book. You know, dot your I's and cross your T's, and you you want to register the weapon, 
if it's now in your possession or vice versa, if it's, it's if you're selling but it. But I don't. Way. But you don't. I don't have to necessarily register all my no, firearms. No, no. But I, I just said if you want to do everything by the book, okay. you know, the book, which yeah, I, I, I love when folks say, well, how do I do it the legal way? Well, this is how you do it. Well, I don't have to do that. No, I, you know, I, I just want to make sure the transaction and you know, I mean, like you know, I mean, uh, that part. Um, I know I don't have to register every gun. Right. Maybe I register the gun I want to carry on my person yeah. but i'm with you but if you're calling like if you're going to the classes and you don't and you don't have to if you're getting a, a license you don't have to if you're you're calling the show to make sure you Absolutely. do everything legal which you don't have to you want to write everything you down you don't have to and then you say well i'm only going to do half of my guns so uh, <laughs> what it doesn't make any sense i mean you, you seem inherently proactive to do everything right you know, <laughs> to them all. I, I, it's like, well, yeah. it's, it's like, no, I've done enough good for the day. You know, I've taken my penance. Now I'm going to, now I'm going to, you know, I, I don't know. Well, it's, like, it's, it's like Mike says, I don't want them coming for all my guns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Andy. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate Thank the you, call, bro. Yes, all right. Uh, that opens up a line 727-579-1025 or 800-771-1025. Let's go to, uh, let me click this. I don't know where I'm at. Carmen? Keith. Uh, line one. Yes? Yes. All right. Keith, good morning. You're on the Mike Calton Show. You're already got it. Good morning. Thanks very much. Uh, I'll try to make this a reader digest. Um, it's it's, it's uh, tax time, and um, I'm trying to download a 1098 uh, document for our for my house. My wife passed away in July. Both our names are on the initial mortgage, but going through the paperwork uh, from GTE, Freedom Mortgage, now the truest, my name is not on the mortgage. And I'm trying to see if this will trigger me contacting Truist Mortgage, if it will uh, trigger a refinance. Because I'm at a 3.2% rate right now, and I probably can't go to a 9 all right. So, well, you're, the, the missus passed, and how long have Correct. you how, how long have you owned the house? Uh, six years. Six and, seven and, years. And you're telling you guys own it together. Correct. Yes. All right. Well, the the ten ninety eight is a report. The mortgage interest on it is mm -hmm. is is what that that document is for, predominantly. Right. But you know what's what's more concerning is. You don't know, or you don't have, you know, either on the mortgage or the note. We're assuming, I'm on the title. Well, I mean, yeah, okay, but now that she's no longer there, did she have a will or a trust document? Has everything been conveyed to you? Oh yes, yes, most certainly. All right. So at this point, the mortgage is unaffected. You have has this home been uh, filed as a homestead? Uh yes. She, well, I'll just say she took care of all that stuff. <laughs> so all well, now you did. are, which is why you're calling the show. So, exactly. Okay. So your question is you're, you're, you're afraid that if you file the, 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 the 1098, that that in some way is going to trigger Truist Bank well, to want to. Well, Dom, the reason why is because they only have her contact information, and they want to verify who this is. By either calling or texting her phone. Well, well she passed in July, so that shut off. Well, hang on. Who, who, who? This is meaning you? No, I. She, uh, my wife has an email from Truist for the 1098 form. Right. When I tried to download it, it was needing verification to be sure this was my wife. Okay. Well, that verification information is her phone, which is now cut off. How long ago did she pass away? July twenty eighth. All right, so last year. So you, you so you go down the Truist Bank, and you show them a death certificate, and you say that you're now, you know, the owner of the home that has the mortgage, and you need to convert all your information uh, for them. Yeah, you, your email, your phone number. I mean, this stuff should have right. happened humbly July or August of last year, but we're going to do it now. Right, right. All um, right. I, I just, but my, my biggest concern is the refinance. If if that will trigger something. Well, no, I mean, the note is the note. I mean, if you're, I mean, I don't know until the 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 bank doesn't know what's going on because you haven't told them. So step Correct. one is you got to drive down to the bank and let them know of the new contact information. 
you know, whether it's going to ref I mean, whether it's going to refinance something or not is going to depend on the deal that you folks have when you bought this thing six years ago. I mean, if it's a house, I don't know if a six year note, usually it's a 10 a 15, a 20 or a 30. It's a 30. Well, then I would, I, 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 I don't understand why you're worried about that. That, that doesn't make much sense to me, but yeah, I think I brought, I brought it up to my tax, my tax attorney, and he could understand my similar concerns. Why? Because if, if my mortgage goes from a 3.2 to a 8, 9, or 10, I got to sell this house. I understand that, but why, why would going down there to tell the bank that your wife has passed and now you're the contact information and you're, uh, you're partly on the thing, but not fully, why is that going to trigger according to your tax lawyer? Because my name is not on the legal document. And All so right. the new legal documents have to be filed mm -hmm. through probate. Will that? Okay. So, so now we shift to a probate law attorney. Who'd you hire for that? I do not have one yet. All right. See, this is right. my call to you. <laughs> Your call, all right. Fair enough. This call should have happened last year. It's happening now. You're going to email me. We're, we're going to get you a probate law attorney because we got to divest all of the ownership that was from the wife to you under test state or in test state law. And then you take those documents into the bank. So you're skipping over some steps. The tax lawyer is fantastic. Now I understand your predicament. You're going to email me and we're going to get you attorney Drew Gracie. Sounds good. All right. There you go. Okay, there you buddy. go, buddy. All right. Uh, Thank you much. I appreciate it. You're right. welcome. Hey, can, I you strange, can I ask you one strange, can I ask you one strange question? Sure. Does, Anybody in the studio, and, I, and Mike, I live in your neighborhood, know what size Monica's feet are? <laughs> when my wife passed, she has some kick butt shoes, but she had a size four, and I can't see them away. <laughs> uh, Monica, Monica has... only wears uh, Buffalo Bill shoes. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. very true. There you go. Yeah, she does anything else. I <laughs> Sorry, just saw buddy. her in the hallway. All she has Thank... is Buffalo Bill stuff. It doesn't say Bill's on All, it. All Monica's shoes curl up in the front. They have a little bit of a whoosh, swoosh in the front, like the rest of the Oompa Loompas. Uh, last call, your own acid dom. Who's this? Nope. Uh, you too slow. Hi, your own acid dom. Who's this? It's uh, Rich, Mike. What do you got, Rich? Your own dom. I got a question. I don't know if Dom can answer it. Uh, disabled veteran, and I would like to file a tort claim. All right. What type of tort claim? Are you, how are you hurt or injured? Uh, personal injury, uh, long story short, went to the dentist at the VA in Tampa, ended up getting my teeth cleaned, ended up with endocarditis, and now I have a bad mitral valve that needs surgery. All right, that's going to be uh, Shafia Singa. She's actually guest hosting the show tomorrow. Uh, she does a legal, mal well, me medical malpractice, medical negligence, which is this is what that area falls into by the way thank you for your service to our country i'm sorry about yes, the injury that you received but if you go to my website or if you want to call into the show tomorrow night shafia will be in studio and you can talk with her directly or you can send an email if you don't want to do it over the air whatever option you feel more comfortable with oh i don't mind all right i appreciate it guys thank you very much all You're right, welcome. Pal. good luck to you thank you very much yeah, yeah. imagine that it's going to get your teeth clean and i believe with a problem uh, well, I mean, things like that happen. You have, you know, a dental, you know, negligence, medical negligence. Well, you know, dentists are doctors as well, and you know, things happen. So that's what uh, Shifia's uh, law firm does. A single law group handles that. Well, and they will be there tomorrow night in the first uh, two hours of the show. So if you have something along those lines that they might be able to handle for you, you could do that. Then Dom will join them uh, shortly after that on the program right here in this very radio station. I'll be coming Just right from the uh, ballpark. Uh, Booze has got uh, ba baseball is now uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays, so I. It kind of cuts into the show a couple of weeks. Sometimes I do it a Thursday, but you know it is what you. Hey, you know, the kids are growing fast. I can't, you know, I can't miss it. I understand. Trust me. Uh, but tomorrow night you'll get to hear uh, Ask Dom in the second hour. If you got any questions, you can always go to the website askdom dot com or eight one three two five one five 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 zero. Dom, thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, have a great morning and a wonderful week as always. You too, and good luck in court today. We'll take a quick break. It's the Mike Calder Show. This is one zero two five The Bone. If you want to get through, the phone lines are wide open, 727-579-1025 or 800-771-1025. I started feeling bad for Love Tiger last night. 
I feel like he listens to the replay of the show, and then he sends me messages just, like, answering what I was talking about, like, as if we're having the conversation right now. He sent me an email. He said, because, it just started off, because my family, the like, he's answering the questions I asked on the air. Um, I think I, I, I didn't want to have anything to do with this, but now I think it might be pretty easy just to get Love Tiger's pool back in order. And he wants it so he could do strokes in the pool so he's not a fatty fat fat anymore. <laughs> He said that it would help him if he can get out there and do something. I disagree, Michael. You know? I, I disagree. I don't think you should do it. Right. I don't think you should do it. I think there we you do. go, Love Tiger. Spanish blue it for you. You've you, you given him enough, and God forbid you get that pool fixed, and so he jumps in, breaks his neck, and then, you know. I, I don't care. It's not my pool. I know, but still, it's, it's you know. Do we know how bad the pool is? Like, is I mean, picture? look at Love Tiger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty good indication. Maybe if Moose yeah. is up there, he can go take a picture of the pool. Yeah, I think we would need that first. Yeah. You think his legs were leaking into the pool? and that's oh. what oh, Quite possible. Oh, that's the so only weird. liquid in the pool. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Just leg juice. Ah. Soak him in the chlorine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Poor Lauti. His mom finally cut his toenails. Yeah. Let's just take him out to the ocean. See how far he can swim. Oh. Oh, he has to, to come back. To the zoo, Rock. <laughs> I know what you're saying. I'm, I'm impressed. He's got. I don't have a pool. He's got a pool. Yeah, I don't have a pool. His parents have a pool. They don't. Oh, yeah. Dad, mom, a little kitty pool. They don't take care of it. Um, do you remember Don Lemon Lemon from CNN? Yeah. 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 He got fired from his job and then he complained, whatever. They just settled. Do you want to guess how much they settled for? I saw. Him? <sighs> Can't even imagine. All right, they, so he's they settled. Well, let me give you the terms, Galvin. Remember you can guess from there. Um he got paid out on his deal that it would have been the full complete pay for his show the rap, which uh his final contract, which extended three and a half years. From his ousting, so he got paid for uh, four years uh, on his show. Okay, I'm gonna say. I mean, that was fairly popular, but it wasn't like network TV. It wasn't like he was hosting. You know, he was at night, show. and he was more popular because he was like crying and he was right. gay, and there were like things that people pointed out about him. And I'm was, gonna say Fox he, made fun of him all the time. I'm gonna say he got paid out his contract twenty five million. You nailed it. Oh, yeah. 24. Oh, million dollars. I was yeah. actually in the 24 because I figured about six million a year. Yeah. Yeah. 24.75, so almost $25 million. I want to let Cox know I will quit this job today. <laughs> yeah. Today for an up front payment of $25. $25 million. Nope. You said no, 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 I don't want to leave, but I'm I'll just saying 20. I would take a paint out. Like Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. You can't undercut me. Sure, I'll, do, can. I'll do 15. Oh, ah! yeah, all right, go. Here, no. <laughs> uh, we can pull that together. Get out of here. Mm-hmm. I'll do 500 bucks. No. <laughs> uh, well, um, I guess good luck to you, Don Lemon. I wonder if the settlement, if he has to still consider to sit out. Continue oh, to yeah. I bet he does, yeah. Yeah, probably. Which, who cares? I wouldn't care either. Not be paid. Happy. Just go on, right? We yeah. just leave that $25 million at the bank and live off of that. Yeah. You can't even get fired anymore. Yeah, dude. It's wild. Yeah. Well, they breached his contract. Yeah. Oh. They fired him, and, and he had a contract. So, But they had to know going into it that that was going to happen, and they still fired him. Didn't Fox do the same thing to Tucker? Squeezed him out? Yeah, but did he get paid? I don't know. If he did, maybe that's then I'm he sure. wouldn't be on Twitter sure doing did. a show. Yeah, I think I remember reading he ba- he opted not to get paid so he could go to Twitter. So he can go do the yeah. job, yeah. Because yeah. he know he knew how much money he'd make yeah. doing that. Yeah, yeah. I, I still like Tucker, but I'll never watch a show on Twitter. That's too bad. It's pretty good. It's you watch I like it on, it Twitter? on Twitter? Yeah. How? Uh, well, you can just go to his page, and when yeah. he does it live, you can click the video. I mean, then, you watch on your phone? Yeah. Yeah, I can't yeah, do that. yeah, yeah, yeah. You throw it up on the screen. Yeah. I w- usually watch all that stuff him. alone, though. So I need to see him good because I need to see that dumb face when he. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a dog who just smelled a fart. Because I don't have anybody in my life that uh, agrees a lot with where I stand with Tucker Carlson, so I usually just watch that stuff by myself. Well, I mean, I, oh, thank you, Alexa. I usually watch it in a big group. If I have my friends over, we all watch Do you have a big I, Tucker watch like, party? Yeah, 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 yeah. Tucker Tuesdays. Yeah. I've, I've been there a couple times. <laughs> this is good. Everybody come over and watch Tucker. Uh, Queers. <laughs> Mike Cal, the show. Good morning. Hello, this medicine man. Oh, man, good. I was just wondering when we were going to hear from you. I know. Well, here's your big shot. What do you got? Oh, yeah. I've been at a lot of places a weekend at the Stockyard over there for the Cold Ford concert. Oh, that really? was a really packed out there. Yeah, I heard uh, I heard he was over there. What about, um? I mean, you couldn't get me to go to a Colt Ford concert if there was nothing else playing in the world. <laughs> um, 
I'm fat, red. How mad is Colt Ford at Jelly Roll? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Furious. Jelly Roll stole Sunday. his fat country thing. Yeah. Hey, uh, no, he are you allowed back at OCC? Said, yeah, all right. You keep man. talking. I'll talk. Are you allowed back at OCC yet? Uh, not to May 5th. Yeah. Oh, you got a date? You got a date? <laughs> they got a date with me. I tried to talk to them and get in earlier. And what they say? No? No, not to May 5th. And I was at Gill Dogs last Saturday night. There was a streaker there. Oh. <laughs> a uh, streaker? I like streaking. I see a streaker there. He got away from the cops. Oh, that's funny. Sing, they're going to have Cinco yeah, de Medicine Man on May 5th. Oh, yeah. yeah when he comes back, <laughs> his triumph return. I've been talking to OCC, too, about you, Medicine Man, so May 5th may be a little early. Galvin's pushing it to May 12th. Yeah. yeah I actually asked if he could come back May. He never come back ever again. <laughs> do you need to, Do you know uh, you're going to Steve Hackett? I don't know. If I have three tickets, I'll go. What do you know about Steve Hackett? He's from the. He's one of the guitarists from Genesis back in the 1971, 1977 era. Same story. All yeah. right. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, uh, I gotta say, it was a pleasure talking to you. I know it's a pleasure talking to you. I know you went to Billy Joe. I went to see a Johnny Cash uh, tribute band Saturday night. <laughs> right, we both lose. All right, I gotta go. Um, I gotta clear up something from yesterday's show. I talked to Chad Zumach yesterday. Okay. Mm -hmm. I suspected that was an old video yeah. from 2018. Okay. He did not really steal the bottle. The guy who owned the store was a friend of his, and he was doing it on camera ah. on purpose. And, uh, and he walked up to him, and he so they paid for the bottle and all that. So, um, Likely but, story. Mm, he was pretty I'm honest. So, yeah. I'm, I'm totally you. kidding. Yeah. The guy that uh, that he is doing the show with, I mean, the guy that he was uh, that put up that video, he's fighting with. So, okay. and that guy's a fat douchebag anyway. So, I'm I'm more on Chad's side. Than You're always fighting with somebody. It's, I, like. it's, it's always some kind of drama. This one hates this one. Yeah, yeah. Twitter drama. It's like, ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad we're out of that. That that yeah. fighting with everybody yeah, business. It's the worst. We went sense. from fight with everybody to we all love each other now. Not everybody, but you know yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Like yeah. our listeners are cool. We're cool. We're cool with each other. We're cool with everybody at the radio station. There's like no, there's like no fighting, no content. If we hate somebody, you know about it. We'll tell you right out <laughs> yeah. of the gate. We hate that person. We Sorry, Mo. Them. Yeah. I don't hate Mo. Mo's my, my number uh, one guy. Strongly dislike. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are very unfair. Not a fan of their work. What about Mo that makes him different that you don't like him? Attitude. His ego. Wow, he does a big ego. ego. Yeah. We did. We we all decided on that one. I heard him telling Spike the other day. I've been doing this game for 30 some years. Man, man, man. I was like, oh, here we go again. <laughs> here we go again. If I wanted the big contract, I could get it. Right. Yeah. Mo is the kind of guy that leaves radio and then is like, I left radio because there's no money to be made in radio. Like, he's that guy for uh, sure. <laughs> ah, now you got me now. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Yes, like him. No, we did like it. <laughs> we'll discuss it next, uh, next Tucker Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. No, I do it alone. <sighs> Tomorrow, we are going to be doing Under Oath. In the 8 o'clock hour. Oh, that's it, huh? Well, that's what you said. N okay. What did I say? No, you started doing your little thing. Oh, I was just letting everybody know. I'm the guy. I'm Wrapping ready to up. go. I'm not I'm not fighting you. I was just got confused. 